hello again, you lovely, lovely people. Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Slightly windy London City here. Not as uh, windy as it was uh, yesterday, but uh, still a bit windy nonetheless. We have the uh, the Swiss A220 here as well on the ground. Getting me gloves on. Get around to some of them comments in just a mo. So, currently just boarding the uh, Swiss A220 that's currently on the ground over there in uh, some of the uh, remote stands. A bit of a dance with the uh, Embraer there. Nothing too hair raising at the second. Ooh. Perfectly down. I'll get around to the comments in a second as soon as I've uh, caught this taxi in. Still looks a bit uh, skew if on the picture there. Uh, just straighten that up just a little bit. Beautiful. Another uh, busy ramp here at. Uh, the LCY this afternoon. Very, very busy it's looking. Right, so bear with me two seconds, guys. Hopefully everything is good. Right, so let's get back round to some of them uh, them comments there. So the play, uh, playing spot at uh, Carnival, um, I would say anywhere between around now up until around sort of seven, eight o'clock, uh, in the evening, probably the best time. Ted Kelly saying and my son departing to Dublin on the 13.35 from there. Uh, I have just heard a city flyer uh, just uh, call up and I don't know whether that might be that aircraft potentially there leaving stand four. Um, afternoon all, Wayne, how are you doing? Uh, Kevin Carter, how are you doing? Uh, Leland Polanco saying afternoon all, afternoon to you. Uh, TSC 777 saying beautiful day for plane spotting. It's not too bad actually. Quite a nice breeze here. Uh, where are we? Brian Williams, how are you doing? Uh, Gary Fellows, afternoon to you. Ken Watt, thank you so much for the uh, the meta. Uh, Thundersar, afternoon to you. Quinny, afternoon. Martin C, afternoon guys. Stephen Owers, uh, very windy and cloudy here in Onga, he's saying. Absolutely brilliant. Sushi saying it's Friday then. Martin C, how are you doing? Uh, Stephen Brad24, afternoon. David uh, Pretty saying good morning. Uh, morning to you, John Carter, afternoon. Terry Stapley, Steve Rothwell, Debbie 13, Biggles, how are you doing? Hope everyone is doing uh, really, really well. Welcome along to Fridays once again. Uh, Steve Ford saying, uh, uh, hi Chris and everyone, how are you doing? Trevor Vow, afternoon to you. Gary Phillips, uh, afternoon Chris, much better day today. It is still a little tiny bit windy, but it's, uh, it's all right. Terry Stapley, afternoon to you, mate. Mark Tickner, hi Chris and admins. Uh, it's Friday, hoping the uh, 13th doesn't come into play. <laughs> oh yeah, Friday the 13th, didn't even uh, recognise that. Uh, George Goddard, hey Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing very, very well, my friend. Hope you are as well. Yorkshire Rose, uh, fair as afternoon to you. Uh, Shane Samuel, good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. There we go. Afternoon here, currently 13.34 in the afternoon at, uh, at London City. Uh, shouldn't be buffering, guys. Everything's, uh, everything's good. I've literally just uh, sorted out everything here. Uh, Quinny, Tony Rivers, Heidi Kilpatrick, how are you doing? Fred for now's afternoon, mate. Good afternoon, guys. Hello to the uh, lovely operations crew as well over there at London City. Absolute pleasure. Keith B, 5.5 degrees. Uh, whoever asked that, I've just lost it in the uh, in the comments there, guys. Tina York, mods, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Sarah Payne saying, hopefully the weather is better than Gatwick. It is. Little bit of a... Um, little bit of wind it's more so uh, 
more so a headwind at the second. Stephen Owens, how are you doing? CBL 27 afternoon to you, Brick Queen. Uh, hello, Chris and Mods and everyone. Happy Friday, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Stephanie Hutchison, hi to you. Solaris, afternoon. Space Monkeys from Space, afternoon to you. Heather Reed, afternoon. Uh, uh, Alan James, how are you doing? Gary Fellows. Um, so, oh, my first time from Gatwick to Innsbruck, we had an aborted takeoff as the cloud was only 150 feet uh, from the runway. So we went to Munich and tried again later, this time for a successful landing. Wow, I bet that was, uh, I bet that was an experience. Glad you had a safe flight though, even though the uh, diversion, mate. Hope you're all uh, doing good. Anyone that is joining us that is new to the channel, here is our uh, Friday afternoon slash uh, evening show from London City that we've been doing for quite a long time now. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, French it's saying, uh, afternoon Chris, how are you doing? TSC777 uh, saying, all sunshine here near Southend Airport. Want to say uh, a massive hello to the guys at Southend Airport as well. they got some uh, really good things going on. Absolutely brilliant. Colin Fielden saying hello there. Um, Tina York, let's see who we have. Jim, absolutely brilliant. Julie Buscott saying, uh, Hi Chris and everyone, looking forward to the afternoon of planes. Too cold outside. <laughs> Magruder one saying, just lurking today, I don't blame you at all. Darkside Bob, how are you doing? My pleasure, my friend. Ian Clarkson, afternoon to you. Uh, where are we seeing if we've got uh, any more? Zaga, afternoon to you, my friend. Heidi Kilpatrick, working the day shift again. Port of Dover doing just fine. A lot brighter today. It is, the sun's out. And I'm, uh, I'm glad the rain is not uh, upon us. That was quite hard work yesterday. Katie Price, how are you doing? Gary Feller saying it was exciting. Trevor, thank you so much. Everyone that's hit the like button already, absolutely brilliant. NJ, how are you doing? Uh, hello from Aston, the Netherlands. Hello to you, my friend. And uh, Jane Elizabeth, afternoon to you. Richard Elland, afternoon to everyone just joining us, guys. So currently live, seven minutes in, uh, uh, 13, 36 here on the clock. We'll be rolling till about five o'clock guys we're going to try and hopefully catch a uh, second swiss if we can as long as it's not uh, too dark in the background you can probably see uh, it's quite choppy there with uh, the dock just in front of us you can see the water there just uh, chopping around very quick rotation there Look at how steep that is already, incredible. Wow. Right, the camera's got no hope with that. <laughs> we might be able to catch it on the back though, but wow. The wind is definitely helping the, uh, the aircraft climb. Incredible, incredible stuff. We might be able to catch some uh, Heathrow arrivals as well, guys, because uh, even though it is a bit cloudy, there is still uh, parts, as you can see, there are blue sky, bits of uh, the sky is quite clear as it goes. So, uh, fingers crossed. And you can probably hear the wind. So I'm gonna try and take that, hopefully, uh, for its right bank. Tell you what, I kept watching back the uh, the A380 guys yesterday of the uh, the landing that it done of just how much spray that it took up. I'm definitely putting that in uh, probably one of my top fives of uh, A380 landings that we've caught on camera. It's definitely in my top five. And here is the wind again. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Absolutely incredible. Right, so first as well, we have the Swiss A220, which looks like it's boarded now. And I think I can see a beacon light uh, flashing in the background as well. They're absolutely brilliant. Uh, Jeanette, honest, uh, honestly, we're so glad you're back. Je Whoa, so glad you're back, Jeanette. I'm, uh, we was all a bit worried about you, in all fairness. I'm so, so glad you're back and I hope you're, uh, you're feeling okay and I hope you're feeling well. Absolute uh, pleasure, Jeanette, honestly. Welcome back. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, Ted Kelly, afternoon to you. Tina Zegas and a rocket there. Uh, just a bit more uh, wind, actually. It looks like the wind is <laughs> starting to sort of uh, pick up a bit there. Just near enough, lost the tripod. 
Uh, Tech Eddie's loving the show. Thank you so much. Honestly, Jeanette, so glad that you're uh, so glad that you're back. Really am. Uh, Stephen Owens might be. Uh, Jeanette, the railway enthusiast, plane enthusiast. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Ian Clarkson, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Alison Tidy, afternoon to all you lovely lot. Bobby Ricketts, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Probably here now. The uh, the wind is just picking up that little bit. Near enough, just uh, blew the tripod over. Yeah, so glad that uh, Jeanette's back. Honestly, he was, uh, he was all a little bit worried. Right, so it looks like we've got an aircraft, the German Airways, starting up on stand nine there. What is, hang on, what is going on here, guys? It's uh, It looks all skew if the... Uh, the tripod, I'm not happy with that. Two seconds, let's just get that there. So the winds are thoroughly upon us. Yorkshire Rose, thank you so, so much. Honestly, I appreciate it. Uh, Michelle Johnson, hello, Chris. Uh, hello to you, hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, B day 53 saying afternoon one and all absolutely brilliant guys good afternoon to everyone just joining us i'm just gonna have a look at the uh ken Watt posted up the the meta but it rolled through quite quickly on there i mean you can see by the uh the water in front of us here in the uh, royal albert dock it's quite blowy outside i tell you what let's have another look at the uh let's have a look at the windsock so if we have a look around there you're pretty much seeing that the uh, the windsock just a little bit sort of off to uh the runway direction but pretty much a headwind it is looking strong though we was potentially expecting some crosswinds here but that may have changed within uh, a few short hours you know how the weather here in the uk can uh, can change dramatically over uh, the space of minutes uh, right, so who was that? Right, uh, Ken Watts saying the Metar. Right, currently Metar here, guys, at a 1320 wind, 270 degrees. So basically, headwind straight on there at 20 to 31 knots. Oh, uh, crosswind one knot, broken clouds, 3700 to 4200 feet. Visibility is currently 10 kilometers plus. Temperature is uh, very nice, 11 degrees C here, and the QNH is 1010, zero, zero, so 10 10. Uh, Jeanette saying the curse of Friday 13th for uh, my mum's heavenly birthday and then my boiler shut down again so waiting for them to uh, get in touch. Jeanette, typical. Like, well I hope that Friday the 13th, Jeanette, sort of uh, is a little bit fairer to you uh, this afternoon. Let, let's hope. Uh, Heidi Kilpatrick saying so thank you for the most streams, a little something for you. Thank you so much Heidi, honestly I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Daniel, hello to you. Matt Carter, brilliant stuff. Belinda Harley. Hope you're doing well. Also, did um, I said I've seen uh, Chris Sarah as well. He was doing some uh, good things. He seems to have sort of uh, disappeared. I hope everyone that's uh, that's sort of gone missing, guys, does turn up. And Samil as well. We uh, we haven't seen him for God knows how long. So I really do hope that uh, anyone that we haven't seen for quite a bit of time, guys, I really hope that uh, if you are listening in the background and not commenting, I really really hope you're uh, you're doing okay. Uh, CBL, no I didn't, I just uh, turned up, with, with all of the special shows that I do my friend, I uh, I will just go live, I won't, um, I'll just put it up the night before and I'll just sort of go live on there, as I say I, li I like to try and keep uh, you lot on your toes and I like to try and at least um, sort of give you a nice little surprise to sort of wake up to on a day when you're not, uh, not expecting it shall we say, uh, LSWR53 saying afternoon all night, had a chance, uh, to catch much uh, this week however at uh, no meetings today so all issues sorted and i'm here for the duration absolutely brilliant dana dane hello to you hope you're doing very very well mark foden saying afternoon chris and all in the chat debbie 13 saying that uh, 13 is my lucky number i should have guessed M, you're not late do not worry and Magruder one, yeah, there was a, there was a lot. We've had quite a few sort of uh, people that used to be regulars, and I haven't seen them on any other uh, aviation chats for a bit of time. So I do hope that uh, people are all right. EDC Metal Man saying, "How the SDTV? How are you, mate? Uh, watching on what is that? Uh, Saturday morning, 14th. It's 2:45 in the morning over there in New Zealand. Absolutely brilliant." Dad was saying, currently uh, watching while well, building the scout model of the uh, <laughs> the 380 and the Swiss also down there on taxi very very nice 
Uh, Alison Tidy, Nick Webley saying that afternoon, hope you're all well, just been uh, really unfortunate, had a job near Heathrow an hour ago, 2 a he's landed 2-7 left off Myrtle, how rude not to, do you know what, I don't blame you, if you're working around there, go and enjoy it, Craig Russell, morning to you my friend, afternoon here obviously guys, 13.45, and uh, I'm literally just working on a widget at the second to try and get a, uh, a clock that's going to go in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, which will give you uh, the current local time of uh, obviously where we are guys I'm just working on that at the second though Debbie 13 saying the Wookie and O1 task saying afternoon Chris Mods and everyone else good afternoon everyone just joining us guys absolutely incredible stuff currently 16 minutes uh, in hello to everyone on Facebook as well I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic I haven't forgotten you hope you're doing very very well Adrian Cox uh, this was great Tenerife then A380 at Gatwick epic and then uh, the Friday at London City, brilliant. South is nice saying afternoon, Chris. Afternoon to you, uh, OG Jake. He's saying big up, Chris. Thank you so much, Jakey. Hope you're doing very, very well. Cosmos Logic, saying big howdy, Chris. Uh, Sandy Chipper today, mod staying on top of the chat mid time. Uh, howdy to all the chatters. Yes, uh, it's a bit more chilled, even though we've got a bit of wind. It's uh, a lot more chilled than it is uh, yesterday in uh, all of that wind. Yesterday, uh, you'll be sort of uh, surprised to know my uh, umbrella completely and utterly busted. Uh, I had to chase it around the field once I'd finished yesterday at Gatwick. Uh, it got stuck in uh, a barbed wire fence uh, and it's completely and utterly broken to uh, about a million pieces. Um, so, <laughs> there we go. That's how strong that wind was uh, yesterday. Uh, Matt, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do that, mate. Obviously, with the uh, encoder system that I've got, I'm trying my, uh, my hardest to get that uh, sort of uh, all done. So, outbound with the Swiss. Very early rotation. Wow, incredible. That was seconds. Look at the climb. Look at the climb, mate. Wow, look at the climb rate. I've got no hope when aircraft are up as high as that, guys, with the camera. That is incredible climb rate. Uh, where are we? I can see another aircraft as well coming over there in the uh, in the background. Yes, I can. Right, so they're currently saying it's, uh, even though it's pretty much a headwind, it is gusting 31. Jeanette's saying up very quick, it is. That was uh, incredible. Uh, Don Atwood, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Oh, right, so the uh, the Embraer there, just battling with it a little bit there. Gusting 31 here at London City Airport. But pretty much a headwind, much like we had yesterday. Uh, Debbie YYZ saying, awesome. Jim, <laughs> he was doing a Mary Poppins impersonation, yes, he was. I was quite worried though in all fairness that the uh, when I lost I literally lost my hand on the umbrella I was quite scared that it was literally just going to blow away and go on the uh, uh, yeah <laughs> go on the road or even further a field shall we say incredible shots we had yesterday just in the mid middle of uh, editing some of them heavies as well I'll do a separate video of obviously the spray for all of them. Me and myself, how are you doing? Carrie T, afternoon to you. You got the 200th like, brilliant. <coughs> Down perfectly. Michelle Johnson, you may as well, yeah. Merry Chris Poppins. <laughs> I had to, uh, I had to get a new umbrella actually yesterday. This one is uh, even thicker than the uh, the previous one, so fingers crossed, we'll be uh, all good in the rain. John Small saying great shot, uh, great shots once again. Thank you, John. And Holland, how are you doing? Afternoon to everyone else that's just uh, joining us, guys. You can obviously see now the uh, with the wind. The aircraft are getting off the ground very, very quickly, and they've got an astonishing climb rate out of here, actually, uh, this afternoon. Normally, we're quite lucky 
to sort of catch them flying over fully in screen but uh, they are up very very quickly it seems this afternoon Matt Carter absolutely brilliant mate thank you Michelle don't worry about it so how about next with the German Airways Zool how are you doing my friend hope you're doing very very well mate Lee Harris, afternoon, Chris and all. Uh, great to see the sun is shining at the moment. Great content as always. Thank you so much, Lee. Welcome along, everyone just joining us, guys. So, how about with the, uh, the Frankfurt livery German Airways? Nice chilled out afternoon we've got here. Oh, actually, that's... Uh, German Airways is probably the uh, the first one that we're probably being able to track. The rest of them have been very, very high. I'm going to keep out, uh, keep an eye out as well, guys, for any uh, Heathrow approaches. So if you do have any more info on uh, any Heathrow approaches going over, uh, do let me know. Especially if we got any triple sevens or A three eighties, much like we do every single week. Beautiful. So make his right turn. We should make his right turn. Oh, we still uh, still have a bit of a song and dance with the uh, aircraft there. Beautiful stuff. Love that tracking shot. That lovely sort of mild right bank is beautiful. Lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely stuff. Right, so we've got quite a few uh, BA aircraft. Anyone that is joining us, this is uh, Pretty much BA dominate London City here, and this is their City Flyer fleet heading into uh, bases in Europe. Uh, Joel Cohn saying uh, greetings from New York. Greetings to you, Joel. And Zool, yes, I am, mate. I'll be at uh, back to Heathrow again in the morning, like normal, my friend. And I'm going to uh, try something a little bit different as well with uh, all of the internet settings uh, on there. I'm actually going to plug my modem in uh, into the actual system to see if that sort of uh, sorts out that 10 o'clock bug that we have. Keith B, how are you doing? Uh, John Spall saying, uh, yeah, I've heard that there's potential snow that's uh, turning up once again uh, next week, but uh, I'm not too, I don't know, the, uh, the weather changes here in the UK pretty much as uh, regular as London buses turn up here in the, uh, in the centre of London. So uh, I'm going to take each bit with a pinch of salt, but uh, it proves to be a lovely sight when snow is actually falling. Uh, Jeanette, NJ, send us what? Uh, what the long track shots. Thank you, NJ. Brilliant stuff. Uh, where are we? DJ Angel Writer, how are you doing? Uh, Cosmos saying 37 temp here in Texas. Bit chilly. Uh, where are we? Katie Price, brilliant stuff. John Small. Zool saying, uh, Julie saying, love that sound. Josh Armstrong, ah oh, man, I miss flying. Have another two weeks of annual leave, and then he's off to Barbados with BA. Yeah, that's not a, not a bad job that you've got there, Josh. <laughs> Sarah Beth, hello to you. Hope you're doing very very well. Uh, me myself, yes. Uh, runway heading is two seven zero, and the wind was at two seven zero degrees, so basically head on. See where we are there. Dana Dane, Craig Russell, uh, Hans D saying greetings all from Wisconsin. I can hear an aircraft going over the top of us, but I think that's a 319 or 320 that's heading over the top of us. Uh, Mark Foden, TCS Trip says, and the weather is uh, just as bad predicting the actual weather. <laughs> that's it. 
And James Watson saying A319 North of you, Chris. Yeah, that must have been the uh, the aircraft that I've just seen sort of uh, head over by, I think. Yeah, it's literally just gone into the clouds there. We're going to be better off when we've got uh, sort of them long tracking shots, hopefully, of the uh, the aircraft heading round to, uh, to two sevens over there at Heathrow. Uh, Bruce saying, is it not going to rain tomorrow? I don't know, Bruce. I need to double check all of the uh, the weather once again, once I'm uh, once I'm back home. I can only sort of check all of the weather once we've sorted out, uh, or once I'm sort of um, at home checking it for the night before. As I said, I, I will be out. As long as it's not a monsoon worth of rain, I'm happy with that. That rain was just about, it was pouring down, but it wasn't a monsoon like we had last Saturday at, uh, at Heathrow. So we'll, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, Ryan Tearsand just joined in. Uh, hit the like button as always. Hope everyone is doing well. Love from Johor in Malaysia. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying the Royal Jordanian tracking towards LCY is 18 minutes out of Heathrow. Currently at 14,000 feet. Brilliant. So hopefully we'll get some nice shots of them aircraft heading over the top of us like we always do. The best thing about London City, not only do we get to see these amazing operations here, we also get beautiful tracking shots hopefully of uh, some of the heavy aircraft heading over there into London Heathrow in the west. Carrie T. Uh, yes, I, I, I didn't see the, uh, the Virgin Orbit launch, but I know that they had a few problems. I, I, I did hear that they had a few problems, didn't they? Um, I, I'm yet to sort of catch up with it, so I will. Uh, Cosmo Sodget saying, yesterday the wind was gusting up to 40 mile an hour, not a good uh, day to paint. <laughs> I felt every bit of that. <laughs> uh, Russ saying, well, hell, uh, got to grab a cup up and get things started. Good morning, all in the chat. How are you doing? Uh, Mark Foden saying, I think it's showery all weekend, I believe. Well, that's all right. It's uh, good because I can put the new, um, <coughs> the new umbrella to the test, shall we say. So coming in, just a little bit of chill out here. We currently have one, two three four five six seven eight it looks like we've got ten aircraft currently on the ground here at the second they're all doing their turnarounds so if you want to grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee now will probably be your uh, your best time guys Jeanette saying weather's bad here in Lancashire heavy rain and gales all night and day and more forecast tomorrow than the snow from Monday onwards typical great well be safe in that Steve Kelly hey Chris great to see you LCY again absolutely brilliant welcome along guys hope you're doing well Steve and uh, Josh Armstrong's on a Saturday morning departure. Yeah, Josh, I've got no problems, mate. Um, in two weeks, yeah, just pop onto the stream once you're uh, pushing back for departure, and let me know when you're uh, when you're heading out, and uh, we'll we'll catch, obviously the uh, the takeoff again. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Michelle Tim Heasley saying uh, hello from Western Pennsylvania. It's just as rainy here. <laughs> well, we're quite lucky. We haven't got the uh, the rain that we did yesterday, and I'm uh, I'm all humbled for that, to be honest. Uh, Hans Day had to uh, fly this past Wednesday from Florida. Um, Panhandle early morning to Atlanta to connect. The no town failure was a mess. Uh, gates were packed. Yeah, does anyone know? I heard this yes. It was it was yesterday, wasn't it? The whole of the sort of United States come to a grinding halt. Does anyone know exactly what that was about and what happened? I, I heard a computer system failure, and I think it was the first time since. 9-11 um, that the FAA actually grounded every single flight in the uh, in the United States so there's something going on there Sean's, uh, Shane Samuel saying uh, BA777 may pass over London City we'll keep an eye out my friends uh, John Merton saying afternoon uh, after morning Chris and everyone in the chat how are you doing James Purdy saying employer error oh, oh dear Yeah, Cosmos. Well, this is, if anyone remembers last week, we had the, um, obviously, the, the Metropolitan Police here. They uh, they pulled up and they said sort of hello. And um, if you remember rightly last week, people were, there's signs all around here saying that there's no drones. They, uh, they caught someone, not last week, the week before, uh, on a Friday, trying to fly a drone, um, literally next to, the, next to the airport, which I just found crazy. Ah, oh, Han, so it's Wednesday. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, Cosmos Logic saying they said it was a solar flare that caused. Yeah, that sounds a bit, little bit suspect. Uh, Miss Crabbin is saying good morning from New York City. Good morning to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. 
Dana Dane saying they had to ground the flights. I heard that. That's uh, that's not good in this day and age. Don that saying the no tab failure. Oh dear. And Wayne, do you know what? Funny you say that. Then we had uh, a Delta A350 land on the uh, the wrong <laughs> the wrong runway. I think someone reported it up that it landed in the wrong airport, but I think that was just completely and utterly wrong. Uh, Stephen Owens, yes I did. I started tracking uh, a lot of the, I think it was ASL Cargo with their 737s. They're flying into uh, London South End Airport, which is really, really good for the guys. Uh, they've got a lot of that while there is resurfacing work being done at Stansted Airport. So, so happy for the guys at, uh, at South End Airport. It's looking like a busy nighttime operation over there. Right, someone said we've got a Royal Jordanian over our head, uh, well, Jordanian Northeast at 10,000. Leo Tattersall, how are you doing? David Satters, how are you doing? Uh, Martin Hudson, have you dried out now, Chris? Just about. My uh, my tripod was soaked yesterday, um, and the bag is still completely and utterly soaking wet. Same as my uh, my coat, but I got through it just in the end. Um, uh, Will Smoke said, oh, what's happening here? And hello, oh, how are you doing, Will? Well, currently we are at our uh, our Friday show that we've been doing for quite a long time now on the uh, the banks of the river, Royal Albert Dock this is, and uh, we're broadcasting London City Airport Live. Very beautiful close-up views, great sounds, very steep um, approach and takeoffs as well. Don O'Brien, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Shane Samuel saying the Royal Jordanian, four minutes from passing overhead. Uh, Paul Hilbert, how are you doing, mate? A quiet storm, yeah, I, I did see that. <laughs> Ian Clarkson. <laughs> That's what I was worried about uh, yesterday with my umbrella ending up somewhere. To be honest with you, TSC, I would like to see uh, Jet 2 go in there. I think Jet 2 would make a, a, blinding, uh, a blinding bit of business, shall we say. Uh, Michael Williams, how are you doing? All right, still worth uh, tracking. Uh, Michelle Johnson, Hans D, Papa Kilo, how are you doing? Project War saying uh, 1201, Queensland and Australia, how are you doing? Welcome along. I got cookies, hello to you, Multi Hobbyman. Um, it's going not too bad actually, Multi Hobbyman. I have completely and utterly cut down. My vape is uh, doing the job. I went from about 20 odd a day to I think I'm now doing about four or five. Um, so it's really good and hopefully I'll be off it. So I'm quite happy actually, really happy. Uh, Matt Carter, thank you so much mate, especially at this time in the afternoon. Uh, Project War, Paul Freeman saying, uh, is this everywhere, Captain Chris everywhere, take STTV with you. I wish I could take it everywhere that I, uh, I went. So we're currently uh, watching some ground ops just at the second guys, just while they're turning around uh, these flights here. And we will be here until the Swiss aircraft turns up at around five o'clock. So uh, the days are now starting to extend here with, uh, with daylight. Uh, Harold Lorenzen saying, uh, Royal Albert Dock, you say, uh, is that close to Royal Albert Hall? No, unfortunately, uh, Royal Albert Hall is on the other side of London. Uh, Royal Albert Dock is just, uh, yeah, we're on the east, I think. Royal Albert Hall is like near Knightsbridge, I think, somewhere around there. Katie Price, how are you doing? I might be mistaken though on my uh, geography there. It's been a long time since I've been to the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, Nacio Aviation saying uh, beautiful place and fantastic moment, called it. This is brother, how are you doing? And Carrie T, thank you so much. <coughs> right, so Flyer 98 Golf, which is, I believe, stand five. So that looks like that one there, the next one out to depart. Project War Sound, I wish you uh, I wish I was British. Your guys' uh, accents are the best. Well, thank you very much, Project. That's probably about the only good thing that we've uh, got going. Going. Other than that, we've got uh, pouring down a rain and snow and terrible winds. <laughs> oh, Chris Howard. <laughs> That's the problem. Robert Bond saying hello from San Francisco. How are you doing, uh, Joel Cohn? Check this. Okay, saying Chris, a Muscovess, check out. Well, Joel, I honestly appreciate the, uh, the the hidden compliment in there. I really, really do. Honestly, um, fair play to all the other streamers going out there and uh, 
doing their their best for the community you know but i i really really appreciate the uh the, the hidden compliment in there so my uh, my gracious thanks to you and leo tassel said look pretty wet at gatwick yesterday yeah you could say that and half a kilo apparently i do uh, Josh asking Chris, what's your favourite aircraft type you've been on? I will say the 747 for me because I'm a big fan of that. Uh, every time I used to fly BA, I would always fly BA and I, was all, I would always fly on a route where it was the 747. So that is my first favourite. Second would be a 757 because just the way that it powers um, out, it, it's just incredible. And I would go third now, which is sort of overtaken, the Embraer. The Embraer was very, very smooth, very, very quiet, very, very spacious. Um, I really, really do enjoy them. Like I, I really do. So they're my sort of, they're my go-to types. Obviously, can't really fly a 747 no more unless uh, we're flying from uh, sort of Germany with Lufthansa. But uh, yeah, I'd go, uh, I'd go for them guys. Sarah Best I've got the Dreamline route to Heathrow, roughly 11 minutes out. Uh, Jim, yeah, so uh, around there, sort of Kensington. <laughs> Tasker, I know. <laughs> now, some of you guys in, uh, in the US at the moment seem to be having uh, not the best of weather, shall we put it. Uh, Papa Kilo saying the L1011 was uh, awesome and my first flight. Absolutely incredible, wow. OG Jakey saying uh, the 777 300ER, just the best in my humble opinion. I've only flown the 777-200, never been uh, lucky, uh, lucky enough to fly the, uh, the 777-300. Ah, I also forgot about the A380, sorry guys. That was uh, for space and comfort, that thing was uh, a beast. The A380 was... That's an incredible machine. So much space to uh, to walk around. Uh, Bernard uh, Santillan saying, I'm curious to know her airliners. Uh, Bernard, I to be honest with you, I I don't know. You know, it, it, they must be working really hard. Like that, that's the only sort of thing that I can. I can say on there, but I, I don't know, my friend, you know, fair, fair play to them. Right, uh, Shane Samuel saying the 787, ah, oh, right, I'm going to lose it in the clouds, guys. It's literally uh, right, it's right in that middle, dodgy bit of cloud, or that bit of grey. Typical. It was nice and blue, sort of over there seconds ago. If we're catching anything that's coming from the north, guys, obviously it's going to be over here where you get that sort of clear bit of uh, blue sky. But as you can see at the second, um, we're once again clouded over. Hopefully that should move within uh, sort of minutes. So fingers crossed. Uh, where are we? Right. Elite Insanity saying flying from Gatwick tomorrow at 9.25 a.m. Absolutely brilliant, my friend. Uh, Keith B saying it's been warm in Pittsburgh. Barely need the trousers. Yeah, me myself. I'm hoping as once because uh, obviously with the uh, the wind sort of blowing quite quickly, I'm hoping that it will move some of that that awful grey cloud that we've got. So I'll try my best. Mark Garner, afternoon, folks. How are you doing? Hope you're all doing very, very well. Debbie 13, a coffee for Chris on uh, Debbie 13. <laughs> Thank you so much, Deb. I did have a, a lovely two cups of coffee as well uh, on the way back from Gatwick yesterday and it, uh, it warmed my cockles, shall we say. It was uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, Michael Payne to afternoon, Chris and everyone. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> you slot do make me laugh. Alison's highly saying, I just get the shorts on. Much like it was on, uh, on Monday. Uh, Paul Andre saying fly uh, A380 with Emirates last week uh, from Dubai to Bangkok. Fantastic, fantastic aeroplane. It is. Do you know what? I I flew in 2021 the uh, the A380 when they was just sort of re-entering service. They were doing like crew proving flights and obviously crew training flights. Flew it over to where did I go? Went to Spain. Went to Madrid. 
and it was just lovely it, it's a place where it reminded me of the 747 but it had a bit more space sort of uh, going with it and it just it was just a lovely comfortable place to be it was amazing Janet Lowe how are you doing and EDC Sam we've got the Golf Air inbound 787-97 minutes out for London Heathrow I will keep eyes on everything but uh, with the murky grass, grey skies that we've got we might not be as lucky as we have been every week guys uh, but I say keep up the aws uh, awesome work love the way you engage with the audience thank you so much Bernard honestly I, I try my best to try to give uh, everyone a voice and uh, actually had a nice someone paid a nice compliment to us on uh, on Twitter actually just saying that uh, they was loving the way the community feel is uh, heading back around everyone and that was uh, that was a nice thing it was a nice thing to be tagged in Jeanette absolutely brilliant in uh, Ian Clarkson thank you so much aviation in action how are you doing Dazza guys another great uh, streamer as well actually one of my uh, one of my favorites aviation in action Darren he's uh, military streams if you like your military aircraft guys go and give Dazza a follow he is just his knowledge is insane with military aircraft absolutely brilliant completely and utterly brilliant uh, Henrik thank you so much I'm, obviously I'm going to uh, check the METAR and the TAF before I sort of set off early in the uh, in the morning as well guys so I'll give you all an update um, with the weather as long as the rain sort of uh, or as long as it's not monsoon rain like we had last Saturday I'm happy and it's the afternoon to you <laughs> Jamie Campbell they are aren't they uh, aviation action really good I'm really really impressed with uh, sort of how busy it is at just this uh, early time but obviously looking forward to around the March April time mate when uh, things are getting dark around the seven eight o'clock in the uh, in the evening so really looking forward to that and I think we're on track for the uh, the thousand likes absolutely brilliant Andy Cease and uh, Haddy on the windsock and afternoon to everyone but yeah guys if you're uh, if you're with Dazza or if you've never followed aviation in action before give him a uh, give him a follow guys absolutely brilliant with his uh, with his military stuff there incredible hello mate you all right Oh, what are you doing? You're, right. You're good. Absolutely brilliant. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming down. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Is this the first time you've been here? It's beautiful, isn't it? Like absolutely beautiful. Yeah. When the when the sort of March, as I say, like end of February, March, April, into the summer, this is beautiful here. You can sort of get here at up past six in the morning, and it's just a morning rush. Beautiful. And then obviously the evening is just incredible here. Yeah. It is so much better, yeah, yeah. and it's very good with like um, sort of transport links. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good yeah. with the transport links. So it, it's brilliant, absolutely, uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a place where spotters are starting to to want to uh, very to turn. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't even go there, mate. Yeah, that was uh, that was hard work. <laughs> yeah, I really felt for you, for that cough. <laughs> and Joe Martin, thank you so much for that. Hope you're doing very, very well. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I can't know where else who have we missed. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Uh, OJJ, KJ. Uh, sort of, yeah, KJ. I see the uh, the Condor. Someone's been posting up a load of uh, Condor videos as well. There's a load of that that's sort of be uh, being posted all over uh, social media now. I quite liked all of the the different colours. Um, I liked it was like a goldy colour. That was really nice. Got some time for that. Normal Masco afternoon, Chris and everyone. How are you doing from Whitham? How are you doing, my friend? Company uh, 44 minutes into the stream now and 14.13 here in the East End of London. Yeah. Just how high they take off on camera. They don't. That was short, wasn't it? That was, that was very, very short. Where is he? Wow, the uh, the climb rate on this today, guys. I bet the uh, the passengers and the crew are having a lot of fun. Oh, and this is why you got to love London City. Where else in the uh, the world? I don't think there's hardly any places in the world, guys, that uh, have stuff like that. I think there's maybe one or two others, I believe. Different 
to the computer game. Yeah. <laughs> a lot different than Flight Simulator. Yeah. So just having a little dance up there. He's all right, and he should make his right turn once again. And anyone that is joining us that is new, guys, this is London City. Uh, sort of, uh, I would say, our home. The place that we've been to uh, the most out of anywhere. And uh, reasons exactly like that. And it's even better on a crisp, clear sky day, guys. You can see absolutely everything. <coughs> Beautiful. Yeah. The thing is, I, I was going to, um, I was going to get the tube or the train, oh, sorry, the train from Essex, but by the time I've done that, it's just a lot, it's a bit of chopping and changing with all of this, so it's just easier, it's just easier to drive, you know. What part of Essex is it? Uh, Saffin. Oh, do you? Yeah, so, yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. Uh, me myself 400 likes thank you so so much guys honestly much much appreciated much love to you all michelle johnson saying uh, mr condor videos i'll try and post some up guys uh katie price incredible for this quarter past two in the afternoon and shane samuel saying the uh the turkish triple seven should pass overhead in about nine to ten minutes once again i will uh, do we know what altitude that will potentially be about seven thousand feet we might not get lucky guys on that uh joel cone uh, yes, I am, Joel. Very, uh, very familiar with Whitechapel. They've got a great pub there called the Blind Beggar. Um, yeah, great place. Some, uh, some real good stories about Whitechapel back in the uh, the sixties. Country. Yeah. Uh, TSC saying you should spot at Innsbruck. Is it busy at Innsbruck, guys? I've, uh, I've not seen. <coughs> Steve B UK saying greetings everyone, how you doing? Uh, NM Flyer Robin saying hello from Albuquerque, New Mexico. How are you doing my friend? Andy C, that's another place I would love to go to um, to Gibraltar. I think that'd be really really good in the uh, in the summer. Edward James, afternoon to you. Uh, KJ, yes they do. They've got gold, green, red, uh, orange blue I think that's all of them plus their original sort of color scheme with uh, what was it like the, the old sort of Thomas Cook livery Matt Cat Lady thank you so much honestly I really appreciate that and OJ Jake Santa grew up in uh, in Essex it's the way to be not a problem Joe so at the moment guys probably for the next about six weeks we've got a nice sort of chilled out afternoon stream uh, just here watching some of the uh, the operations here at London City and then after that we'll be concluding hopefully back to our uh, summer evening shows where we get the uh, the evening rush Andy C. Jana, uh, Andy C. Sandra Ball is a great place to go need to do it uh, Julie Sand there was a Turkish triple seven I like the, uh, the Turkish triple seven got a lot of time for that all right just going to uh, move my encoder box down just a little bit guys give me two seconds just going to uh, have that there just so I can put my uh, thing on that right so while we're just uh, having a little wait around for the second I'm going to uh, have a sip of my coffee before it all goes cold and you see Chris was on Towie <laughs> no Chris wasn't on Towie and aviation in action Darren saying uh, Chris I guess you need a new umbrella but we don't need one as I've had no hair to cover up uh, I do I posted a picture to the uh, the mods yesterday of the state of the umbrella uh, as soon as I uh, it literally came out of my hands yesterday it was uh, yeah it was destroyed absolutely destroyed Tim Duggan saying checking in Chris hope you're well and dry I'm all good I'm very well and uh, currently dry a little bit windy here but it's all good Becky Davis how are you doing Monica Jackson hello to you so I saying I lived in uh, Essex for almost 25 years. And Aviation in Action, I, I spoke to the guys at South End, literally that popped up sort of out of nowhere. If I'd have known about it before, I actually would have went down there and uh, filmed the Hercules guys at, uh, at South End. <coughs> Holland saying, nice to meet you all. Nah, it's brilliant. That's a brilliant. 
And Trevor, yes, I've seen them many times. I, uh, I'm not a big fan. People like Katawi or the, the Only Way is Essex. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, and a nice strider has saying, hi Chris, not quite a sunny Tenerife, but enjoying the views. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, this is a, a bit of a dampener <laughs> compared to... Uh, that no, that's it. Compared to, uh, compared to Monday. Hope you're doing very, very well, my friend. Absolutely brilliant. Absolute legend. Right, so coffee time now, guys. As I said, if you are lurking for the moment, just while we're waiting for some more aircraft to turn around and arrive and depart, grab yourself a coffee. And uh, we're going to be here, as I said, till around the sort of uh, five o'clock mark. Aviation, you know, typical, Darren. Yeah. That, I think where it's sort of, if it's RAF and stuff like that, I just don't think they, uh, they don't do anything, mate. They don't sort of let you know, or they don't give you an upfront, do they, of what's going on. Uh, Cosmos Logic saying this is for the power to warm up your coffee, Chris. Awesome job today. Thank you so much, my friend. Honestly, guys, absolutely brilliant. And a Knight Strider, and obviously avi Aviation in Action, guys. If you're not a fan, go over and give their, uh, their YouTube channels a follow. Absolute great people. So nice meeting uh, people like that on YouTube. It's just uh, an absolute pleasure. It looks like potentially as well. There's a lot of people in uh, sort of high-vis jackets over there. I wonder if these may be potential new crew, new starters for BA, things along them lines. If it is, that's uh, great, great news. Leslie White is towards a coffee of crystal new poly. <laughs> Luckily enough, I've got the, uh, the bodies the body's turning up today, so that's all good. Uh, Helen W, just uh, visit. Not a problem, Helen. Absolutely brilliant. Right, coffee time for the second. Actually, quite impressive. Still warm. Is that usual for the old BA stuff to be a little bit? Yeah. More than normal? Actually, it's been busier for the past couple of weeks with these BA aircraft on here. Normally in the afternoon, it's sort of it's been very quiet, but now it just seems to be. When I got here, what, about an hour ago, it's literally lined up. It was really? yeah, 11, 12 BA aircraft. Like they're doing, obviously they're doing real good business out of here. Out there as well, that's what it, it looks like to me with the sort of stuff that's. It looks like it, but as I said, the morning and the evening is when you get the real. The real sort of difference you know your swiss lufthansa yeah, 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 yeah. german airways um logan air you know uh yeah. lux air everything yeah. along them right is great now uh, shane samuel saying we've got an e192 minutes out from uh, lcy and sassy bob saying hello from chicago how you doing hello to everyone just joining us guys so well, doing the runway check down there. yeah or just making sure that there are uh, there are no birds currently on the uh, on the runway Refurb, yeah, they're doing a runway refurb down there. So I think they're doing a few hundred feet each time. Yeah. So all of the aircraft from Stansted, or some of the cargo aircraft, sorry, are heading into South End, which is really good. Oh, really? Yeah. So that that's decent. Unfortunately, it's like three, four o'clock in the morning, so it's like it's still pitch black, isn't it? You know, there's not much that you can see. It's going to be on for about what, 18 weeks down to Stansted. Isn't yeah, about 18 weeks they reckon. Uh, who was that saying? Uh, Steve Ruffles saying uh, Chris New Ground Crew possibly, potentially. It's good to see though guys, obviously uh, new people getting into the aviation sector. If you get into it, you've got a job for life and uh, you do have some fantastic privileges as well. Uh, Gary Fellows for one will tell you uh, exactly that, he has some great times obviously uh, on his EasyJet adventures. And who was that? Sarah Pace and a jam donut. Very, thank you so much, <laughs> appreciate it. Jeanette, hope Jeanette is doing well. Brilliant. Where's Matt back, back, back to America, Grizzly? What's that? Matt, is he back out to America? No, he's over here, but he's doing a lot of training. Like, he's got um, a lot of flying stuff that he's going to be doing now, so he's been given a lot of <coughs> new material to read, and obviously he's got a load more studying to do. What's up with these, Jet, is it? Just with like a, a college, I think it's like L3 or something like oh, that. Okay. So, no, he's doing. Uh, so he gets all that, and then he probably go anywhere, can't he? He can. Like I think he said within the next sort of uh, year, maybe something along them lines, he can start looking at uh, sort of applying to the airlines. I, I can't wait. He's going to make a, a fantastic. Great, though, yeah, lots and lots. Money. It is. Not a 
good old days when they went out RF and then straight to civilian stuff. Yeah. They don't happen anymore, do they? Well, that's the thing. Right, so there we are. Uh, the mighty ball sound watching and uh, watching, listening, posting. Uh, posting, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing very, very well. Joan Martin. All right, so. Aircraft over there. Let's get our uh, focus tracked on that. Aviation in action, yes mate. I, do you know what, I would love to see, uh, I think along with London City and South End, I think BA would do quite good with their regional stuff there, and Jet 2. I think that would be a nice little, little bit of competition, like if that makes sense. Easy Jet, BA City Flyer, and, uh, and Jet 2. I think that'd be great, and maybe some Wizz Air. So inbound next with the Embraer. Currently we have still the headwind going on guys. There is uh, some gusts still going on at the second. A little bit shaky there. I hope he gets it down better than that Pegasus he had to stand. <laughs> yeah, that was quite scary. God, yeah, I thought he was going to go straight in there. <laughs> and Viv Pierce, and great stream yesterday, Chris. Thank you so much, Viv. Uh, that was brilliant. Well worth, uh, well worth the day. It was very interesting. I, as I say, I love watching how pilots handle this. This for me is just the ultimate. Uh, windy weather, I think is the ultimate sort of uh, thing to watch. I just, it, it should put you at ease if you're a nervous flyer. Aviation in action, brilliant stuff. No one tasker, that's it. Well, we try to look after our, uh, our audience here and our community. All, uh, all look out for one another, you never know. Johnson saying it starts working from midnight to 6 a.m. Literally resurfacing the runway. Yeah, they're doing bits at a time, aren't they? Like 100 meters at a time or something along them lines, I think I read. I might have been wrong on that. So a bit nose down. Wobbly. Just a tad wobbly. Ooh. You can obviously see he's got a lot of lift there. He's trying to dump a lot of that lift. He's literally... Whoa. Whoa. Bit of a flow and he got it down perfectly. A little bit of dancing there though guys, you can obviously see the, uh, the sort of wind is affecting when, uh, when you've got that head on wind. Incredible skills. Yeah, Owen Tasker saying a little bit nose down there, just a little bit. I got Cookie saying what a landing. Absolutely incredible guys. Very, very skilled pilots here. Uh, KLD84 saying, hi Chris, any plans to do another stream from a sunnier climate? Uh, of course, there are always them plans, but once I, uh, I, I've said it before guys, I will literally just sort of, uh, I will pick a day, uh, I will turn up and uh, we'll just sort of let you know the evening before when we're gonna go live. And the reason I do that is just because it's, uh, I feel it gives something back to you lovely lot that are supporting the, the channel. And it's uh, sometimes a nice surprise to sort of wake up and watch something just a little bit. Two seconds guys, it's just literally dropped. One second, there we go, two seconds. Right, there we go. Just uh, 
catching up on the signal there guys playing catch up so my apologies just dropped out just that little bit uh, there but we should be good everything is uh, everything's all good now i shouldn't have put my uh, my phone right next to uh, to this while it's uh, plugging off of the wi-fi <laughs> fresh air how are you doing hope you're doing very very well that was uh, that was completely my fault that one and uh, over 920 of you lovely people watching on uh, youtube fantastic thank you so much for your continued support and 500 likes in an hour guys that is a new benchmark honestly the uh, uh wow we're definitely going to see if we can get to the thousand on here today and i want to ask you yeah, just literally dropped um that was my mistake on there i left my phone right next to it and it looks like my phone was starting to piggyback off of uh, all of the wi-fi and the connection uh, fresh air saying it's 8 30 in the morning there brilliant michelle johnson saying yes it is right so it is a hundred meters at a time right that they're doing steve rothwell incredible stuff wow guys uh cold coffee i would love to but uh there are quite a lot of stipulations at the moment at dubai airport plane spotting is illegal uh there all oh, right so he's just messed up a little bit of his parking so he's gonna have to uh literally u-turn and uh head back but obviously i would love to head back to or i'd love to head to dubai but unfortunately it's just not gonna happen my friend uh unless i was to get a permit or unless uh, i think it would sort of be agreed by the government out there it's a shame because there are some beautiful uh, places from even hotels where you can get some beautiful views of uh, a380 heaven uh, cosmos logic yeah mine's playing uh mine's playing up a little bit so this ba aircraft there it's got to uh, go back around and try again guys obviously it wasn't parked properly uh, chb seahorse saying good afternoon to you how are you doing josh yep san francisco and i think someone took my advice i was talking about boston airport for weeks and weeks and weeks i think uh, i see one uh, pop up and he sees how the magic roundabout pretty much right so there's a heavy aircraft going over the top of us but uh, there's no chance we're going to get that guy oh hang on it was an etihad 78 oh actually we might be able to right we might be able to get something just through that broken blue sky there but i don't reckon we will a bit of cloud watching at the second no unfortunately not guys it's just uh sort of too cloudy here at the second so another aircraft inbound and Jeanette and loving the stream doing a fab job Chris and mods honestly Jeanette thank you so much much love to you so glad you're uh, so glad you're doing well I'm so glad you're uh, so glad you're uh, you're back and feeling a bit better Antoine saying uh, what was that go to Leipzig so many cargo jets it's only 12 quid from Gatwick wow I would like to but obviously with the equipment that I have I have the check-in stuff so it's never all these base fares I get hit with the uh, the add-ons especially the uh, I have to check in quite a bit of stuff now Jeanette much love to you girl Jeff Smith hi Chris hope you're well I'm doing very very well okay Jason uh, it's got to be the shortest flight ever And Josh is saying this one is this inbound from Norwich right okay I believe is this where they go for maintenance I think BA City fly go to Norwich for maintenance Michelle Johnson saying I uh, have a couple of hot coffees on me thank you so much Michelle honestly I appreciate it Keith in Miami good day to you my friend I really appreciate it guys honestly I do literally the shortest flight I want to ask you yeah well as I said like any any of the donations guys that sort of come into the channel they all go straight back into it comes straight into the channel and then it goes literally around the channel and it's sort of uh, everything just helps to sort of build what we've got so it's brilliant uh, some said flight training 
and Josh saying out of the Canaries. <laughs> Caesar Medal saying great views and streaming greetings from Mexico City. Oh my God, look at that. Bit of wind just called in there, guys. Right, so it's getting a little bit tricky now for the uh, arrivals here of the Embraer. It was looking potentially like a go around, but I think he's got it. He's gonna get that. He's got it down. And perfect. Uh, I run Tasker San. A bit strength for the new Broly. Thank you very much, Tasker. Much appreciated. Honestly, hope you're doing well. So there we go, guys. Obviously, this is uh, this is nothing compared to what we would normally get. I mean, the wind is higher, but we are pretty much a headwind at the second. Wait until you see some crosswind landings, guys, and you, this will show you that probably the LCY pilots. Uh, it is just incredible how they uh, how they deal with things. It really, really is. Jess Smith had a great landing there. Aviation in action. This is just the absolute skill. What a landing. I will definitely be posting that up, guys. Right, so that is, if anyone wants to go in there, that is one hour, six minutes uh, to be precise. And that is the uh, the time stamp on that. Mark Garner saying a bit of wind shear. There was definitely some wind shear going on there. <coughs> uh, David K saying, hi, Chris. Uh, the Singapore A380, 20 minutes out from uh, Heathrow now over the Essex coast. Brilliant. Right, so this is the aircraft that uh, has to sort of turn back around. He's going to have another go, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to literally uh, repark again. Michelle Johnson saying brilliant pilots. Andy C saying looks like they're landing on an aircraft carrier. And this is why London City is such a hit, guys, because you just don't get to see things like this. And bearing in mind, this is in the middle of an actual city. This is literally in the middle of London. It's incredible. David K saying afternoon. A Cosmos Logic saying uh, that will wake you straight up with that tilt before landing. Only here now the wind is just uh, getting a little bit more. Tony Lava saying afternoon, Chris. Hope you're well and enjoy Tenerife. I did, my friend. It was uh, it was fantastic to be able to do that. Obviously, I I wish we could have streamed that there all week. Josh Armstrong saying uh, another aircraft in uh, next in as well. Uh, nil nil. Hope everyone had a good Christmas and New Year. I had the dreaded flu for the past three weeks in Guangzhou in China. Well, I hope you get better, my friend. Honestly, I really, really do. So, BA doing the business here at London City. Much like Heathrow, very, very big players here. Uh, Josh Shan, the next one in British Airways inbound from Rotterdam. <laughs> Michelle Johnson, literally. David Bones saying, hi Chris, really enjoyed your live stream from Tenerife South. Uh, great to see that you've got uh, in touch with Andrew. It was, and you know what, Andrew's a brilliant guy. Absolutely uh, brilliant. Knight Strider, absolutely uh, legend of a man. Absolutely brilliant. Can't wait to head back out there, guys. Uh, Danny Chick is saying, that just paused there a second. Why did that just pause? Hang on, guys. It was just that, just paused up for a second. Don't know why that done that. Very weird. Very weird that was. No, 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 the leg monster. He's probably, uh, <laughs> we're all good guys, don't worry. Normally we've got a, a fantastic stream from here, the uh, cold coffee. Uh, used to spot at Luton, mate, but uh, unfortunately now, it's, uh, we're still waiting on, uh, on something. Mark, listen, mate, you go and have a, uh, go and have a look through, it's all good. Yeah, no, another one, uh, another aircraft company inbound as well. I've done an update as well, guys, on the uh, on the encoder system, which I think it needed. I'll tell you what, hang on, let me. Uh, I'm going to move my encoder around actually. And, uh, let's keep that up there. Right. So, another aircraft company coming inbound from Rotterdam. <laughs> For radio. <laughs> It's still, it's still all cold and wet from uh, <laughs> yesterday. Uh, Jamie Campbell saying a good effort on cutting down the uh, things this year towards the, the vape juice. Honestly, Jamie, thank you so much, mate. I hope you're doing very well. Right, so currently gusting 27, and it is at 270 degrees, the, uh, the wind. Yeah, the 
railway enthusiasts. That's the, the sad thing. And uh, they still haven't got back to us yet, which is, uh, it's sad. I hope we can get it sorted though. So current time check, 14.40 here in the UK, uh, in the UK, <coughs> in the East End. He was fighting it just that little bit there as well on uh, on takeoff. Beautiful. <coughs> and uh, 600 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Incredible. And a near vertical takeoff. This is why I love this here. The wind is obviously uh, generating a lot of lift for these aircraft. Jim Martin saying, uh, Chris, just a flying visit today. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Thank you again for doing this. Much appreciated. Not a problem at all. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. And Andy C saying, uh, sounds great with headphones on. Honestly, guys, incredible. I'll tell you what, we're going to see if we can go for the thousand likes today. We might as well. Just under a thousand of you lovely lot watching. Stephen Owers, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, Norris saying it looks like it might rain. I hope it's. Uh, I hope it doesn't. It was saying tomorrow there was supposed to be rain, but uh, not today. It was supposed to be uh, supposed to be okay. Henrik saying the, uh, the more flying, the less smoking. Agreed. Matt Carter, it's incredible for this time in the afternoon, and. We're not even an hour and 30 minutes into it. We're an hour and 13 minutes into it. Wow. Right, so just getting this little focus on there. Doesn't like the, uh, the dark gray clouds. See the lower that the aircraft gets, it looks like he's sort of taking that dance just a little bit more. Actually, it looks like this aircraft in from Rotterdam's got it pretty uh, perfectly lined up. Got it though. Perfect. Skill of the BA pilots here, guys. Uh, I got cookies. Canada Jim saying uh, we have Toronto Island Airport in the heart of the city, similar to London City. Uh, mostly dash aircraft. Do you know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'll give that a uh, I'll give that a look into Jim. Yeah, have a read. And this is uh, this is nothing compared to potentially uh, what sort of goes on when there is this storm, proper storm weather. Louis Penn and saying, uh, I get cheap flights from uh, to London from Dublin. So I'm going to Luton Airport Monday with Ryanair. Very nice. Well, I hope you have a, uh, a great flight. <coughs> right. Is that the control tower over there? The old control tower, yeah. The old one. Where's the new one? Uh, Swanwick. It's now all done oh, remotely. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Now all done remotely. Becky Davis, how are you doing? And Johnny Mill Harrison saying, good uh, good morning from Sydney, 2 a.m. here, can't sleep. Pleasure to have you with us, and I hope the, uh, the planes relax you. Uh, 
level up. Wow. Camera's got no O today, guys. That is uh, some steep, steep aircraft. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying I can only see one bit jet later on the citation to Brussels at 16:10. Not a problem, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, steep, steep climbs out today. Uh, Sandy Sternberg saying greetings from Sweden. How are you doing, mate? Hope you're doing very, very well. You all right, mate? You all good? Yeah, not too bad. I got cookies saying uh, I need to go grocery shopping, but Chris has me stuck with the stream. <laughs> Messenger Mike saying greetings from a cold, Dampson, and uh, Louis, Missouri. Uh, crazy land is a take us uh, over there this morning. It's uh, pretty incredible, actually, here. I cannot believe how steep they're, uh, they're leaving the ground here, guys. Reno Sam, we've got the Singapore A380 heading over, uh, head now, I'm going to keep it. I will have a look. TSC uh, 777 Sam, the C17 Globemaster flying over South End. <laughs> right, I'll keep a look out guys for the, uh, the Singapore. Can't see anything over the top of me at the second. And the takeoff speed with these got literally just how quick they're getting off the ground. Wow. <sighs> ah, right. Hold on. And there we go, the Singapore. Oh, that would have been a lovely, quite typical. <sighs> right in the clouds, guys. You might have got just a tiny, tiny glimpse of the 380. And if we can get it on the other side of the, uh, the clouds. No, it's just too cloudy up there. Shame. That would have been a beautiful sort of passing shot as well. Yeah, so unfortunately, guys, we might not have uh, that many shots of aircraft heading into uh, into LHR today. We've been spoiled over the past about three weeks. Beautiful. Right. So, coming another aircraft as well. Uh, Edvani Gomez saying good afternoon. Afternoon to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Right. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Susanna saying still can't get over how steep that climb is. It's a lot steeper today. The wind is obviously. Uh, helping these aircraft. <coughs> uh, Keith Grafton says 680 likes, nearly a thousand of you lovely people watching on uh, YouTube as well. We're definitely going to be, oh. Brilliant, whoa. So he was uh, a bit wobbly there, guys. Just a tad wobbly. No 
goes down. There we go. He's making sure that he's got that. Flap them wings, son. Get it down. That's a beautiful landing. 700th Embraer livery on here as well. Yankee November. And Bernard saying, don't just watch, subscribe. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, guys, already, and you are watching in the background, please do uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and putting all the uh, notifications on. Hans D saying, crabbing into the wind. 700 likes. I think we're definitely going to hit the thousand today. Debbie 13 saying, awesome. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, aviation in action. I, I agree with you. Do you know what? Even them, uh, even them stance did sort of uh, crosswind landings and the windy landings. There are some, there are some good places. Uh, Caribbean sand. Hello, hello to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. <laughs> Michelle. Yeah. Do you know what? That was uh, that was not a pleasant place to be. The fact that we'd done it over three and a bit hours there was, uh, or actually just under three hours, was uh, quite incredible. Put it that way. I want to ask a San. Uh, there's some serious piloting skills going on today. It's beautiful. And over a thousand viewers. Thank you so much. I hope everyone on Facebook as well is doing well, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Thunder Star saying the airway uh, looks a little bit bumpy, just a little bit. Ray K saying good morning from California. Very good morning to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. And Scatman Noob, morning to you, my friend. Hello from the US of A. A lot of our, uh, our friends from America in, uh, in the chat today. And as well from Australia and New Zealand. Absolute pleasure and welcome along. Uh, Alan Milani saying good and windy from uh, Luxembourg. How are you doing, my friend? Hopefully, uh, we should get a nice glimpse of uh, the Luxair Dash 8 as well, making its appearance very soon. Fox watching, say great stream. Keep up the good work. I will do. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, he's going into stand nine. Uh, midnight Star saying afternoon all. Fab stream today. Thank you so much. Jeff Smith saying the pilots are fantastic. Really shows you a different vibe of uh, skills, doesn't it? From obviously uh, all of the heavy aircraft that we're uh, that we're used to. Jim's uh, going to be right back. It's coffee time for him. Uh, Matt Carter, Watch him. thank you so much, mate. Honestly, them them kind words, they keep me going, mate. I really, really appreciate it love this airport absolutely love this airport linda richardson saying afternoon chris great live stream well done on uh, cutting down assist done that uh, so well i'm probably going to have one in a minute guys i mean i've uh, by now i probably would have normally smoked about six but uh haven't had any since being here Stephen, i was saying the luxe just leaving the belgian coast brilliant and um, hansley saying good day to our kiwi and aussie mates absolutely brilliant love having you guys here and Ray K saying, um, is it windy here? They're currently gusting uh, between 27 and 30 at the moment, but it's pretty much a sort of headwind uh, that they've got at the second. I'll turn that back around and I'll give you a little shot on the windsock. So you can pretty much see, it's pretty much head on straight down the runway, but it does have them uh, slight tendencies of sort of just moving around. Michelle Johnson saying, Chris, it was fantastic. All that weather, if you could stand out in it. <laughs> it's, uh, it was, it was fun. I've got to admit that yesterday, it really was. Uh, me and myself saying a short bread on inbounds, fantastic. Yeah, Karen, I, uh, I got the free trial of YouTube. Uh, what was it? YouTube Premium. I've got the free trial that they gave me. It was quite good. Tony Connie saying hi all from Sydney. Working a night shift. Have the uh, stream keeping me company. Pleasure to have you here, Tony. And I hope your uh, your night shift goes well. Uh, Darren Pierce saying the best channel presenter around. Keep up the brilliant work. I will try to, Darren. Thank you so much. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Tim Duggan saying it's been the best week with you. Aquaman at Gatwick. <laughs> Sunshine at Tenerife. <laughs> and now a windy London City. So what has Heathrow got in store for us uh, tomorrow? 
Uh, Johnny Mill Harrison saying uh, coming to London on March the 18th my stop over LAX with Delta Airlines brilliant stuff I hope you have a fantastic flight uh, Reiko yes that's the uh, that's the reason for them wobbly landings on there right so they're now just going to offload this once again guys if you want to get grab yourself a, a cup of tea or coffee now will be the time we're just uh, currently chilling out here going to watch some more ground ops just for the moment Uh, Michelle Johnson saying it's so interactive here seeing the aircraft up close and uh, all the prep and fueling and the passengers uh, getting off. They're, this is what I love it. I'll see you on the next yeah, one. no worries. Enjoy. Pleasure and to you meet you. And you mate. Enjoy. Thanks. No worries. Brilliant channel. Uh, thank you very much. Honestly, really appreciate it. Better than any other one. Yeah. <laughs> thank Perhaps you. It yeah, no worries. That's all my, good. I, I live in Cheshire, so Stanton is my local. It's just local to you. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Absolutely no brilliant. No worries. Thank Take you care. Really see you later. Right. Enjoy. Right, uh, right, Alan, uh, right, thank you, Al. Uh, the report has been made 35 minutes ago. Uh, wind 15 knots from the west with gusts of up to 25 knots. Uh, temperature 10 degrees C, humidity 62%. Uh, pressure 1011 hectopascals. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. More broken clouds at a height of 3,600 feet. So there you go, guys. We just had the, uh, the update on some of the weather there. So a bit windy. Paul saying good morning, how are you doing? Uh, Josh uh, Armstrong saying that bird looks mesmerised by the lights. <laughs> uh, Julie Lena saying good afternoon everyone, good afternoon to you Julie, how are you doing? Keith Crafton saying Chris, after yesterday's uh, exploits you should be awarded the <laughs> Stickability Award. <laughs> oh. Link Keeble say finally made it to the stream. So glad that uh, Jeanette is back as well, guys. Obviously, if anyone was worried, we was worried about her uh, last week, but Jeanette has been back. She's okay and she's doing well. Uh, Nick Kangan was saying afternoon, all oh, great spot, Chris. Thank you very much, Nick. Absolute pleasure. Right, so currently they board in this aircraft, which I believe was in from Ibiza, did you say? Yeah, so this one inbound from Ibiza or Ibiza. And obviously, yes, RIP to Lisa Presley, guys. Woke up to that this morning. Um, very sad, 54 years of age as well. So uh, rest in play, uh, peace to Lisa Marie Presley there. Uh, Pavlo Armand saying, hi, Chris, watch your stream from Tenerife. Fantastic, I'm off to Zurich tomorrow on Swiss from London City Airport. Hope uh, the Airbus A220 uh, can get in. I hope you have a fantastic flight and you will love every minute of obviously uh, the Swiss experience. Jeff Smith, thank you so much, mate. And Paul Neve saying, afternoon, everyone. Brilliant stream as always. Brilliant, my friend. Uh, Ian Child, afternoon, Chris. Uh, great stream. Honestly, Joe, thank you so much for that, Joe. I, I can't believe it. Thank you so much, guys. Right. So, they're just offloading the flight that's just arrived in from Ibiza. Tony Collins, Euro Aviation, how are you doing, mate? Honestly, you are legends, guy. This community is just something very, very special. I, I love this. I've, there is a real feel of community aviation spirit that's uh, that's turning up now, and I I really like this. Uh, Mario Police is saying, "Afternoon, all. Happy Friday. Loving the stream as always. Brilliant stuff, Mario. Hope you're doing very, very well." And currently 1500 hours here guys in the UK or in the east of London and we're an hour and 30 minutes into the stream now probably be your time though guys just while we're watching some ground ops grab yourself a cup of tea or a coffee or if you want to do a bit of lurking now probably be your time and Paul Neve uh, Alan Malone, thank you so much guys. Honestly, I really appreciate that. Bid the bolder afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday, the weekend starts here. Thank you so much. Uh, Joe Martin, brilliant, where else are we? Tony Collins saying uh, feeds in nicely with a 24 seven radar, brilliant. So we're next, hopefully, going to be waiting on the shortbread airlines, guys. Bantam Radio saying, thanks, Chris, I'll have a hot coffee. I'm going to do exactly that. 
Uh, Ray K saying, I love that you have uh, really good communication with the people in the chat. Thank you for that. Not a problem, Ray K. As I said, I'd, I, I like to try and give everyone a, vo uh, a voice and uh, I like to try and acknowledge as many people as I can. Sometimes it gets hard though, especially at uh, busy streams like Heathrow and the weather that we had at Gatwick yesterday. Yeah, no, just done it all good, mate. And uh, Jennifer Mary is saying, oops, forgot you were uh, alive. Listen, don't worry about it. As you say, you're, uh, your life doesn't revolve all around uh, YouTube, guys. We understand that everyone has a, a life outside of YouTube, so don't ever uh, feel bad about it. Uh, Heasley saying, enjoy the stream so much. Uh, fading out my day here at the beach, 21 degrees, with a nice beer next to me. Oh, very nice. Not jealous at all. <laughs> yeah, definitely not jealous at all. I am. I really want to go away this year. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it looks like they've uh, finished the boarding the passengers on that aircraft inbound from Ibiza. Very, very quick. Michael Singh, thank you so much, mate. I've got to do fly 6 Tony Rivers, yeah, what's that? Nice. So it looks like that BA Embraer over there, I think. Is that tw stand 22 he's leaving from? She's off to Belfast. Yeah, Banton. Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. And this one off to Belfast. Thank you, Al. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, Kevin Carter saying I was uh, doing dad's taxi yesterday, taking my son for his physio. Well, I hope he's okay, my friend. Cosmos Logic, thank you so much. Beautiful. It looks like there is a bit more clearing now in some of the clouds above us, guys. So we might be able to get some of the Heathrow. I can hear something going over the top of us. And Josh is saying we got the next BA inbound uh, from Zurich, uh, CJ299. Uh, Yankee Victor, about five to ten minutes, brilliant stuff. So love Hansa, love Hazen. Mm -hmm. Love Hansa, delivery. Yeah. Oh, Happy days. Keep me saying I've got it too. Uh, Trinicotin gum as well, brilliant stuff. Yeah, I tried going sort of cold turkey, guys, but obviously uh, it's a bit harder than I, uh, than I thought. Is that your new year's resolution going cold turkey? Yeah. yeah. Didn't really work out. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I, as I said, I've sort of cut everything down majorly, like very, very majorly. Yeah, I've done the same thing. And it's doing really well. My vape is helping me so, so much. Oh, yeah, they do help. AD Wright saying, Hi, Chris, how are you doing, AD? Hope you're doing very well. Hendrick. <laughs> uh, Kevin Carter saying uh, he's getting in now, Chris. Thank you. Uh, just has to have one more surgery with his right arm, but he's up and walking now uh, without crutches. Well, that's good then. That that's a good thing. There's there's progress being made. So brilliant stuff. Me and myself saying we've got a BAA 380 from San Francisco in in about six minutes. I will hope, guys. Kenny not just tracked us brown saying hi Chris uh, I wouldn't be flying today he's very superstitious on Friday the 13th keep forgetting it's Friday the 13th I think you'll probably find that today and uh, September the 11th are probably the safest days to fly in all fairness hmm Benson Radio. What was that one? Uh, 
So it's moved around 10 degrees currently at the second, so it's uh, still pretty much a headwind, but not as much on the uh, on the runway heading. Okay, God, I didn't even realise until uh, we turned up today. rolling probably heard the uh, the railway behind us guys that's a train called the Docks the Docklands Light Railway Take care, my friend. I can't even see it. Wow, the uh, the incredible climb rate. NJ, take care, my friend. Just being handed off to Thames director there. And the wind is starting to now just pick up that little bit. Whoa. That's, uh, you can probably hear that through the microphone. Looks like we've got a 319 heading over the top of us, I believe, heading into Heathrow. Already turning around Yankee November and almost 800 likes. Thank you so so much, guys. Honestly, I appreciate it. Right, where are we? Uh, what have I missed? Stephen O is saying the Lux Series Company due in at 15:21, so it's about 13 minutes away. Very very nice, Kevin Carter. Thank you so much. I think we're going to definitely smash the uh, a thousand likes today. Scatman News saying we've got a bit of great sunlight now. Yes, yeah, actually, the sun is quite warm when it's sort of right, right in front of us. Henrik, thank you so much. Brilliant stuff, Dazza. Uh, Eight hundred likes in an hour and thirty minutes, guys. That is, uh, the the power of aviation is just incredible. Thank you so much. He's saying now switching back to ice cream with the uh, which returning comets of fire pushing the plane to the crowds. <laughs> oh, the clouds lower. Right, so another aircraft coming in back and just let's see, probably about six miles away. I believe this was the uh, flight in. I think Josh was saying from Zurich, I believe. Stephen O is saying the sun is out here in Onga. It's quite nice actually. The uh, it's nice when it gets on it's nice. Yeah. John Lima saying I'm now on the stream from Orlando. How are you doing from MCO? Hope you're doing well. Kevin Carter saying I used to live down uh, down south and loved it. Uh, Josh, of course, mate. You can do. It'd be nice if you can get up there as well with uh, Matt. I'd like to introduce you to Matt. Like he's a great bloke. It's brilliant. We'd love to hear some. Uh, some BA stories, obviously uh, the good ones. Uh, right, so we'll just wait and we'll turn around in a second. Maybe about another 30 seconds, guys, and then we'll catch that aircraft currently inbound. Keith Garton saying A380 currently to the north of London City. Ah, right, we might be able to 
all dependent guys if uh, I mean the clouds are really really rubbish you might only just get a little glimpse of uh, the 380 that's if you get anything at all it was making its way around we might get lucky I'm not promising anything obviously with the cloud cover that we've currently got here but I'll give it a try anyway so, nah it's just not going to happen guys we try yeah the clouds are just too rubbish so currently gusting 28 at uh, 290 on the heading for the uh, for the wind Lee Harris saying uh, it's heading over us but I just can't Lee Harris saying the Tenerife stream was great Chris uh, any more uh, there will be my friend right, so the uh, the 380 is currently I can hear it as you can probably hear it in the uh, in the microphone over the top of us but uh, it's in the clouds that's a shame Kevin Carter he throws about 22 miles about 22 to 23 miles uh, from here so that's over in the west. Uh, Heidi Kilpatrick saying the BA inbound from uh, Zurich next. Whoa. So the wind is starting to just pick up that bit. stable actually it's pretty stable nose down just making the, the last corrections indeed Cosmos Logic beautiful very very nice indeed so Yankee Victor inbound from Zurich Brilliant stuff. Wayne is back uh, with the coffee. So heading on to stand six, very nice. Obviously we've seen now uh, how the dash eight potentially will be uh, handling with just a little bit of uh, wind on there. Yeah, I've got no chance of seeing that. It's a little bit too far, is that? Is that 37? Sorry. Oh, it is. It's just. I was trying to get the 747 above us, guys, but I just got no. It's just too far above the uh, the top of what the uh, the tripod can do <laughs> beautiful and welcome along everyone just joining us guys hope you're doing very very nicely
got a, a nice lineup of uh, BA aircraft as well coming over the back there. Cheers, mate. Uh, Ian Clarkson, uh, we've got a 787 above us, coming at 5,000 feet, heading over to uh, from San Jose, heading into Heathrow. Unfortunately, guys, it's with the clouds that we've got here, it's uh, we're just not getting lucky. Ah, uh, Keith, so that was a UPS 7.4, right, okay. Uh, James Watson saying uh, 7.47 near Dartford. Uh, Gregory saying SCTV, uh, good to see you here and it's not as windy. It's uh, quite a nice, quite a nice difference today, shall we say. <laughs> a lot of a difference from, uh, from yesterday. Uh, James Watson saying, we got the 777 north of you at Loughton as well. Don't think we're going to get the views, guys, with the clouds above us. We've been spoiled for uh, for weeks lately, and this is why I love coming here. The close-ups and the beautiful views that we get here, plus the passing traffic. Yeah, decent. Uh, that's lovely. Ken Watt giving us... Uh, the updated Meta as well, 1450, uh, wind 270 degrees, 15 knots, crosswind one knot, broken clouds between 3600 and 4100 feet, broken clouds between 4300 and 5000 feet, visibility is 10 kilometers plus, temperature 11 degrees C, and the QNH is 1012. Brilliant. Uh, Gregory saying, just got a toffee crisp, <laughs> not had one for years. I used to love uh, munchies. If anyone remembers them from the UK, munchies were great, but they uh, they really changed the uh, the taste of it. I don't know what it was. I think it was Nestle that just it, they just didn't taste the same in they the end. The taste yeah. And get them. That's brilliant. Uh, Alfie Gormer, Sam, what airband radio do you use? Uh, my receiver is a Uniden Bearcat. It's a one two five XLT, and it's uh, it's done me well for coming up to about seven years this year six seven years it's, it's done me well uh, can he not just tractors um, they can if they really wanted to they've got the power to sort of uh, move them behind I know that there are some aircraft um, that actually do use some of the reverse but uh, it's not recommended and obviously they uh, they don't they don't do it just because of the fact if there's any potential sort of uh, debris on the ground it could uh, obviously screw up the engines but uh, they've got enough power to sort of uh, move them back just a little bit Mario Polisi saying used to love Whisper but they changed that too yes they did Clive Everly how are you doing Clive hope you're doing very very well my friend glad to see you back hope you had uh, a nice relaxing break over Christmas as well Linda Beatty, afternoon everyone, how are you doing? Debbie 13 saying curly whirlies were good. Yeah, I'll give Actually, you that. It's free, it's free, it's Brilliant. Uh, Euro Aviation, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well, my friend. Right, so it looks like there's uh, quite a bit of break in all of the clouds now, so we might get lucky. Andy C. <laughs> Gary Crass, an afternoon from Stansted. How are you doing, Gary? Hope you're doing very, very well. Currently an hour and 50 minutes in and we uh, we hit over 800 likes. It was uh, an incredible, another incredible record. Jeff says that's great for you in uh, being up cl so close to the aircraft. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Gregory. Not a problem at all. And uh, user 232, hello to you. Hope you're doing very well. James Quidner saying afternoon or oh, good morning now here in South Australia. Currently 1.50 in the morning. <laughs> good morning to you, my friend. Hope you'll be able to get some uh, sleep very soon. You'll be up at that time in the morning going to Heathrow 
Yeah, yeah, literally. Easy oh, face so much. And Hamish McTorse saying, uh, don't forget uh, the Dash 8. And that is literally in the background right there, guys. So that will be... Uh, Uh, right, so if I pull back the zoom, guys, this is that is the zoom basically back uh, as normal. So that is how close I am to the airport action there. So you can see you are very, very close. You don't get views like this in many places, guys. Oh, yeah, oh, fantastic. Uh, Rick Golden, afternoon, Chris, and everyone. Weather is a bit better than Gatwick, <laughs> just a little bit. So there you go. Anyone who wanted to see. Uh, just how close we are. Right, so Dash 8 inbound next. Peter Schneider saying uh, hello from Orlando, Florida. How are you doing, Peter? Hope you're doing well. Kevin Carter, not a problem at all. Josh Armstrong feels their side, it does, doesn't it? It is so close. <laughs> I got cookies, not in them, uh, not in this uh, weather. That water is probably going to be very cold. <laughs> Jeanette saying, glad I don't live there, I'll be 24 7 planes pointing. Yeah, I don't think I'd get uh, any, any life done. Cheryl Colson, how are you doing? 2 a.m. now, uh, how lucky is that? Yeah, someone got a flat over there. Wouldn't even work. Andy C will be drier. We swim across than a Gatwick. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright, so the Lux there. Dash 8 still quite a way out now, guys. Uh, Gregory, yes, still quite a breeze here, mate. It is still breezy. Got quite a uh, heavy headwind. They've got the second. Uh, he's saying spotting with you guys would be awesome down, uh, down here in uh, Okinawa. That would be lovely. Farah Fields, brilliant. Baza saying hello, lads. Love the video. Thank you to you, Baza. <laughs> Stephen Owens, yeah. <laughs> right, so on the approach now, let's have a, uh, a look. It almost looks like that Dash 8 is hovering. It almost has got that sort of appeal of it, like literally. not liking that uh, that grey cloud. Joe Martin, Roger Knott, how are you doing? Uh, Kevin Henry, how are you doing mate? Uh, afternoon Chris and everyone, another week. Incredible isn't it? Friday again. So slow the approach of the Dash 8. So so slow. Definitely battling that headwind there, guys. I think guys
uh, Messenger Mike 74 saying uh, have some coffee on me love your London City streams Mike thank you so much honestly I appreciate it thank you so much for tuning in absolutely uh, amazing thank you all you lot brilliant that was a very long approach that felt hands all off Mark good afternoon to you afternoon and Bruce not a problem Bruce hope you're doing very well thank you so much mate and uh, Ray K the noise in the background they're doing a bit of work over here in uh, London so, uh, just some building work so I think they're uh, they're drilling uh, drilling down a few things oh, yeah pole driving uh, literally behind us me myself see you tomorrow mate enjoy <laughs> Yeah, pile driving literally just behind us, guys. I think it's behind the uh, one of the hotels that there is there. I think it's behind the uh, Cafe Pine are saying, uh, I hope I pronounced, uh, pronounced that right. Uh, Paina, I hope I've pronounced it right. Uh, aloha and hugs to all. Absolute hugs to you as well. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Ian Blackwood saying, uh, hi from their card. It finally stopped raining here for five minutes at last. Of course, uh, an LCY stream great never been to that airport usually Bristol or Heathrow well pleasure to have you here uh, Roger not is sick of the uh, <laughs> the wind at the second Mark JB's <laughs> that made me laugh right so we'll wait for the engine shutdown of the uh, the dash 8 beautiful and chocks on. Uh, a clear blue sky. Uh, use a two three two with the thumbs up. Thank you very much, Andrew Mason. Good afternoon, Chris. Only just uh, only just home after getting through the uh, the bad goods we have in Worcester. Hope you're okay, mate. I'm doing very very well. I'm glad you're at home, my friend. Anyone that is just uh, finishing up their day now on a Friday especially here in the UK hope you've had a, a great one 874 likes we're definitely on calls for a thousand just under a thousand of you lovely lot watching beautiful stuff ah cafe right okay yep okie dokie I think I got it Kathy, I hope you're good. Anyway, I hope you are. Uh, Josh, yes, please uh, give us a uh, give us a message, mate. One of us will pick it up. And Kathy saying 874 thumbs up. Brilliant stuff. Love this, guys. Two hours in, 15:29 here in the East End of London. Baz is saying working in my office in Stratford. Uh, three screens with with this open on one of them. Top draw, absolutely brilliant. It's nice when someone literally just down the road is uh, watching it so close. JJ, brilliant as always, Chris. Thank you very much. Not a problem, JJ. Glad you enjoy. So the, uh... Bye, no. <laughs> aloha, spreading the aloha around the world. Absolutely brilliant. Lots of love going around the uh, the world for the aviation community, guys. So he's just holding there for a second. I don't see anything above us? There he goes. there we go and yeah, they're definitely climbing higher than they're uh, they normally are guys normally we can uh, get the whole sort of takeoff on there but the uh, the wind is definitely helping them today as you probably see now there's a bit of blue sky that's uh, around us so we may or may not
get some uh, Heathrow arrivals heading over us. And the handoff. Basically, that aircraft does a complete U-turn, uh, obviously on that uh, departure, guys. He heads all the way, uh, all the way over Essex as well. Stunning. So, aircraft currently on stand eight. Next one ready to go. Jeanette, hit those lights, guys, and show the love for Chris and the mods. Let's get 1,000 likes. Honestly, Jeanette, thank you so much. Much love to you. Absolutely brilliant. I think, as you've probably seen in the uh, in the stream, people are so glad that you're uh, that you're a bat, and people are, are happy that you're doing okay. Uh, Flugel shaft, uh, Flugel shaft. Right. I've just seen that message that's popped up. I will message you back um, as soon as I finish the stream. Honestly, guys, much love to you all. Joshua Leclerc, how are you all doing? Mark JB saying uh, he's less than a mile away. It's been a lovely sunny day despite the wind. And this is nothing compared to a uh, potential sort of storm weather, guys. He's saying, what a takeoff. <coughs> yeah, Flugel shot. This is the problem. I think the next time that's. Uh, the next time that something like Tenerife happens, I'm going to plan it a bit more and uh, we'll spread it over sort of like three days, I think, because they're, I know that on a Sunday they had the uh, Ibero Jet, I think it was, the 330 Neo. That would have been an absolute treasure to catch that. Uh, Ian Blackwood in Gwent. This is the Royal Albert Dock. So this here is the, uh, the, the water that you see in front of you. This is the Royal Albert Dock. Checking aviation, saying hello, Crystal, loving the streams, mate. Tenerife was quality going back. Um, yeah, love to go back. Just all the all depends on when it can be done. And James Watson saying that he throws stacking up, so hopefully we might be lucky. Uh, Kathy saying that my church brother is an attendant. He said maybe a cancelled flight in the US, but not mine. Well, as long as your flight is not cancelled, that's a good one. Uh, Stephen, I was saying we got a Virgin 350 overhead soon as well. We might be lucky. And um, we're so close to a thousand likes, over 900 likes, incredible guys. Uh, Rob B saying, watching from DC and loving it, mate. Glad you're uh, enjoying it. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Thank you uh, so much for everyone tuning in from all over the world. Uh, Tony River saying, also with a bit of notice, he can throw a sickie the next time. <laughs> And uh, Tony Collins saying, amazing to think there are over 15,000 aircraft currently active in the world right now. That is some uh, statistic there. Uh, aviation in action, hitting that light button, brilliant stuff, mate. Wendy saying, just pop in uh, to say hi. Have to go to work in a few minutes. Not a problem, Wendy. I hope you have a, a great, great afternoon at work. Right, I can hear that. So you may just about get the 350 this time and it makes its way into shot if it does. Right, so a lot uh, still cloud but a lot less uh, than what we've had for the past sort of two hours. Beautiful. 
So we got one <laughs> out of a ton of them. Logic uh, Queen B saying just a quick hello, hello to you. Jamie Campbell saying a lovely shot on that. Ken Finch, how are you doing? <laughs> Some of you do make me laugh. Brilliant. Happy days. So heading out to Prague, yeah? Oh, on the way. What on the way in from Prague? Kathy saying, oh dear, an allergic reaction to jalapenos. Queen B, how are you doing? A scat man, no saying, uh, those, under, uh, those under lit clouds look awesome. They do look pretty nice, don't they? I've got to admit that. If we can get it, mate, if we can get it. Rachel London, how are you doing? So it's moved around to 250 degrees now, the uh, the wind, guys. Uh, use the 232, Sam Brother. And just me saying this is the best aviation channel. Honestly, I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we're only going to be getting bigger over the uh, the next year. Got a lot of stuff planned, guys. There's going to be a lot of aviation going on uh, this year. You'll be, in, uh, you'll be in heaven. Oh, flugel shaft. I'm hoping so. If it comes around this way, and obviously the uh, the clouds keep away, we will keep a lookout for that. That should be a nice uh, a nice catch. Yeah, no chance again. Blackwood saying is this airport easy to get to from Paddington yes it is um, you can literally go from Paddington on the Elizabeth line and you can go to Stratford once you go to Stratford you can change here and get the Docklands light rail railway to Royal Albert Dock and you can literally just jump on the DLR right to this position uh, very very accessible and very very easy Keith Garth is saying that was early that was incredible is he saying damn <laughs> Susie Q loving the climbs today. We're uh, being treated with the climbs out here today, guys. They're never normally like this. They're very steep, but they're never normally like this. Stephen Owen saying the Emirates 380 just crossing the Essex coast. Hopefully we'll get some lovely uh, shot of that as well. It's incredible seeing things like this, isn't it, guys? In the center of a city, you know, the center of a London. It's madness. And they're going to be doing a runway inspection as well in the uh, in a second after this uh, Embraer's just heading out. Bruce saying, yeah, I'm going to put TFL out. <laughs> Customer services out of a job. Uh, Peter Rawdinson, yes, there are toilets where we are. Uh, right next to us, there is a Chinese restaurant. And there's a visitor sort of reception. Hang on. There's a visitor's reception. right there with toilets. And the Malaysian 350, literally trying to get a, if that made anyone sick there as well, I was just trying to get a, the best of the shots, <laughs> guys, with everything. So Malaysian 350, uh, just gone over the top of us. Trying to track the uh, Malaysian 50 guys, but uh, still a bit of cloud. 
Bruce saying that the toilets are a pound to go. Or you could just uh, you could just use the hotels, guys. There is uh, toilets downstairs in the hotels, and they're normally pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah. Easy said toga only today. Literally full power, guys. Just going over right. So Stephen's saying the Kalita Air 747 is currently just going over uh, South End at the moment. So we might get lucky, guys, because South End is not that far when you're uh, when you're at cruising altitude. Paul Dunn saying afternoon, Chris. Just in from work, so playing catch up, not a problem at all. Uh, aviation in action. No, I'm not going to leave. Uh, not going to leave, mate, until. Uh, we're very close, I think, to the thousand likes. There's a, there's a lot of love for London City Airport in such a short time as well, two hours. Kathy uh, Santa, love your view. Thank you so much. And I'm very humbled that we're able to uh, broadcast this view all around the world. Oh, Dickie Mavitti saying we've got a German Air Force A321 heading your way as well at 36,000 feet. That's over there, yeah, that behind the trees. Mark JP. <laughs> uh San, are you in a public viewing place or do you have to have pass? No, this is public viewing place. This is all public along here. This uh this is one of the best things about this uh, this viewing point. You can literally just walk up and down this uh this whole runway. And uh, I'll turn, as soon as we've caught this uh, departure, because this is going to be another rocket climb, I will show exactly the... Uh, wow. There is another place though, guys, that currently, at the moment, is off limits that has one of the best views of this whole airport and the city but currently at the moment it's off limits right so anyone that wanted to know so here is your sort of long walking pavement that you've got all along down there it goes the whole stretch of the airport if I turn it around it's uh, there's the DLR station so your Docklands Light Railway station you are literally just so close to everything and uh, there it is right there I think that is that Kalita 747 as well up above so there you go. but there is as I say another very beautiful view the other end that I think you'd uh, all like but at the moment we just can't get there Stephen Owens I believe that was that uh, 74 above us and he's seeing the trees in that focus Correction there. So he's saying winds at 250 degrees now. And I run my head and it's 270 degrees. <laughs> right, Michelle DF saying I'm so lucky to be able to uh, see these planes take off all the time. And more people realise they can. Uh, Easily with the daily works, they can. And that was a 747-400 freighter that you just see uh, before this Embraer, guys. Michelle Johnson, not a problem. Uh, Heasley, you could. Peter Rawlinson saying, if you want, you can walk right the way around the airport from the airport terminal. It's great at the end of the runway by the Thames. It is. And we got 30 likes left to a thousand, guys. 
just shy of 1,030 of you lovely people watching at not even four o'clock in the afternoon. Incredible viewing numbers. Linda Richards is saying, Chris, I think you're going to get a beautiful sunset in about 30 minutes if you're staying that long. Uh, yes, I am. As I said, we're going to try and roll until uh, five o'clock for the Swiss. And I'm just hoping that we might have uh, just that extra little bit of uh, sort of daylight there. Flugel shaft, brilliant. Messenger Mike saying, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Thanks for the, uh, the stream, Chris. Not a problem, Mike. Enjoy. All right, Fred, good morning to you. Watford FC, how are you doing? Uh, last bus unfortunately I don't uh, I can't understand that mate um, if you could sort of type it in English that would be great uh, Rachel Lundstein trip to Edinburgh in the planning flights are quite reasonable uh, from Stansted with EasyJet Roger not had a dentist this morning he's quite settled now <laughs> but as I say I'm buzz of uh, this I really do love it that's brilliant isn't it Lewis Bow one saying good morning Chris checking in from uh, Tucson Arizona how are you doing my friend very good morning to you all well, a very good afternoon slash good evening to uh, anyone that's joining us here from the UK and Uh, Mark Rowe, yes, there is. Uh, there will be. I need to. Uh, I need to sort that out. But it's. Uh, we're all good. I'm making the call on Monday. I'm a little bit behind, and I'm making the call. And uh, Dickie Mavitti is saying we've got an A380 currently creeping up behind us. I'm going to try and keep a look. Is it coming from? Where's it coming from? The north. And we've hit over a thousand likes. Thank you so so much, guys. Oh, there was a little bit of a pause in that. Just a second there, guys. But just uh, do bear with it. Sometimes just a little tiny pause. Yeah, the network's playing catch up once again today. Must be very busy out there. And we've done the thousand likes. Incredible, guys. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Love this place. Ah, right. So. Still uh, quite a tight angle, actually, for the uh, for the tripod. So you can see the clouds. What we've uh, currently been sort of dealing with, guys. It's uh, breaking through the clouds as much looks like they're potentially going on to two seven right i would be guessing if that would be my uh my guess there beautiful uh, uh he's it will be so so dark um by then obviously uh, it will be very very dark unfortunately it's uh it, it gets very, very dark here um, during that sort of time. So we've got to wait until all of them things for the uh, for the summer streams. Tim Duggan saying, checking out Chris. See you tomorrow, enjoy. Uh, that guy does. Not too sure yet, not too sure my friend. Called it 1K Friday for a good shaft. And that A380 that we caught guys was EK31 heading into, uh, heading into Heathrow. Stephen Mueller saying, happy Friday, y'all. Absolutely brilliant. Great day, Keith Grafton. Right, so, where are we? Hey, yeah, fluke sharp. Anyone that said uh, London City and an A380 is not possible, there it is. And you get the best of both when you're, uh, when the weather pops out for the good. Yeah. Matt Carter saying, hope everyone has a good evening, weather, uh, weather permitting. Looking forward to Heathrow tomorrow, Chris. Have a yeah, safe journey and uh, thanks for another stream. Take care. Enjoy, Matt. We'll see you again. And yeah, Montevan, absolutely brilliant, guys. Yeah, over there. And uh, all concerned, brilliant camera work. Thank you very much. They come through at some very tight angles, guys, here. See, the, uh, the tripod's good, but uh, it does have limitations, so we, shall we say. Uh, that guy does it would be yeah it would be uh, lovely to do 100% I agree with you 
uh, Matthew Miscanlon saying that afternoon afternoon to you my friend hope you're doing very well and he say for sure I'll be watching it all year round can't wait and do you know what we're only we're not even two weeks into uh, January yet it's already been a fantastic one oh no it's saying uh, a thousand absolutely brilliant can't thank you all enough guys right so they will just be deboarding that aircraft it's uh, the doors are currently open uh, Wayne saying the next over we've got an A315 named Ruby Murray oh hang on Unfortunately, the clouds only give you a very glimpse, a little bit of a glimpse. Of some of these aircraft heading over to, uh, to LHR. And uh, Montevan saying, uh, safe landing for the A350. Uh, Joe Connor saying, hello, Chris from Miami, Florida. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Bruce is saying that that's my time up. See you all next uh, next Wednesday. Take care, Bruce. Enjoy. Oh. Uh, stand. Right, so there we go. Uh, Arnold, uh, I think the wind is having a, a lot to do with it today. They've got a very strong uh, headwind here today, very, very strong. So that is really sort of uh, helping with this. And not only that, they are at full power takeoff here. Uh, Andy, C. St. Chris, uh, should get a remote camera or the London Airport St. to stream. <laughs> that would be nice, my friend. That would be uh, that would be lovely to do. I wonder if the Hyatt would let me do that. <laughs> Uh, CBL. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna have a little bit more of my coffee, guys. So you're not looking for the book right now? Oh, I'm hiding it up then. I thought you were looking for it. And another quick squiggy. Looming cold today. Yeah, it's got really cold. Uh, Jeanette, doing better. Fareed, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Debbie 13, say bye, Chris. Uh, and guys, got to go to work soon. Debbie, not a problem. Have a uh, have a great have a great shift. Link he was saying back from lurking while feeding everyone. Very very nice. They should be turning around as well, that Dash 8 guys, that should be uh, very, very soon that that, uh, that aircraft should be making its sort of way. Probably hear the uh, the police sirens as well over there in the... Over the bridge they're turning up. Yeah. Carl Lee saying, hi Chris, how are you doing Carl? Afternoon everyone just joining us guys. Uh, Kathy said we share our runway with uh, military while playing golf. Uh, I watch the stealth fighters uh, in and out. Now that would be an experience and a half. Absolutely brilliant. Macy J, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Radachitsky, I hope I pronounced that right. Hi, hi mate, greetings from Perth, Western Australia. Great work. Absolute brilliant. I hope you're having uh, a fantastic one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Arnold saying, uh, Thanks, Chris. Where is the Oracle Matt? No, he's not back in the. Uh, he's not back in the USA. He is currently being given a lot of stuff to study for now, guys. So he will be uh, putting his head down and obviously getting his uh, studies in because uh, he's coming up to some crucial points now in his uh, in his training. So Lux said, Dash A looks like they've everything's done. So looks like they're just potentially waiting on the. Uh, Waiting on the passengers now. Right, 
so Yankee November gonna be the uh, the next Embraer heading out. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, Wayne is saying we got the Kenya Airways somewhere just bank. Oh, hang on, that might be that. Literally had the eyes on it for seconds. Oh, have I still got eyes on it? Got my eyes on something, but nah, it's going straight through the clouds there. Dot Brownlow, thank you so much. It's not a good idea. <laughs> we will get to that point when I think we'll be uh, hitting over the 2,000 likes. That's brilliant. Craig McAllister, CMC Images, saying uh, I got some decent photos of that 700 livery uh, B8 uh, at Edinburgh a few months ago. It's a lovely plane. I flew on this back from uh, Amsterdam in October. Great plane. Loved it. Really got a lot of time for this aircraft. Andy C, that would be nice. It'd be lovely to uh, to open up an exclusive spot at, say, London City here for uh, for everyone. That would be brilliant. It's a good idea. <coughs> well, obviously, uh, with the snow. We was out. Uh, I out, we was out streaming in the snow before, wasn't we, guys? In uh, in December, it did prove for some beautiful, beautiful views, especially at uh, at LHR and especially here at uh, at London City. Uh, and uh, happy anniversary, Clive Marianne. Hope you're doing very, very well. Many more years of happiness to you both. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Right, so the Kenya Airways is right above us. Unfortunately, guys, it's uh, literally right above us. Let's see if I can get it. It's making the turn. I wonder if we'll get it. So the Kenya Airways 7-8. Beautiful. Happy days, guys. Happy, happy days. No worries, mate. Enjoy. Take care. Right, I'll see you in a bit, yeah. Safe journey home, mate. Enjoy. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, no, Scatman New, it's only this one, and this is uh, Golf uh, Lima Charlie Yankee November, uh, the registration of this aircraft. Right, so David Bone is saying, uh, what was that currently? Watching this on the big TV, and a Knight Strider in Player de las Americas on the laptop. <laughs> Brilliant. Jeff Smith saying, uh, thank you for a great stream, Chris, got to go now. Listen, not a problem. Go and chill out, my friend. And uh, Linda Richardson saying, well done with all those overhead shots, Chris. Not a problem. As long as the uh, the sky is sort of blue and it's clear, I will always be able to get some cracking shots of aircraft overhead. But uh, it all, once again, depends on the little grey, or the grey sort of dark clouds that we have here. Heidi, that would be uh, absolutely pleasant. Yeah. Uh, Bassa, yes, many times at an international airport every week at uh, London Heathrow. Yeah, every week. Jamie Campbell saying all those uh, 
all those advertising boards on the airport because of the live stream. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, London City may be missing a trick there. Yeah, they could put a load of ad advertising boards on the uh, on the side, and it'd be uh, free advertising for them. <laughs> Hope everyone is doing good, though, guys. So another aircraft currently about uh, five miles out. You can just about see the landing lights coming in and Stephen Brad's uh, 24 saying only found this channel a few weeks ago but loving every bit of it thank you so much my friend honestly I really appreciate that and anyone that has just uh, found us much uh, much appreciated and glad you uh, like what you're seeing and if anyone is watching in the uh, in the background and hasn't subscribed please do consider uh, hitting the subscribe button and uh, clicking all the notifications on Uh, that guy does once again as I keep saying I still haven't heard back from them so until I do I can't make any uh, go for two seven left arrivals and for me that would always be Myrtle always Myrtle seems to me like the internet's struggling a little bit uh, here I wonder if it might have something to do with uh, something going on there little tiny bits of uh, blips today I wonder if it has anything to do with potentially the update that I'd done last night Andy C, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, Tony Collins, what's the largest aircraft that can land at London City? Currently at the second, it's the Airbus A220, uh, but it should be the E2195, and that will be sort of getting certified very, very soon. Uh, but they have had a C130 that's, uh, that's landed here uh, as well. But uh, very particular types, shall we say. And John Driscoll saying, turn 4 p.m. We still have daylight, which is good. This is what we've been, uh, this is what we've been waiting for and wanting. By the time we're in March, guys, everything will be nice. We should be able to uh, return to our original streaming slot of around the sort of uh, four, or five o'clock mark. There's Walker saying, uh, hi, Chris. Another great show from London City. Love the Embraers. Absolutely brilliant, Les. Hope you're doing well. Uh, TSC and A318 has landed there. Unfortunately, the A319 is uh, too big to land at uh, London City. Tony Collins, not a problem at all. Clive, listen, take care, my friend. Go and sort out everything. See you all soon. Take care, mate. Be safe. Hope you have a great weekend. Dickie McVitie, most probably. As I said, they've had the C-130 here. Uh, the police officers from last week, they showed me some uh, some photos. Uh, it was great, like literally. And they was right a bit, like they got one of the best views, literally behind uh, runway 27. It was just incredible. Edward James, that's good. I remember when we caught the uh, the Profit Hunter arriving here on our first time, it was great. Roger, not saying it's getting lighter by two minutes a day. Vincent Heath, afternoon all. I'm off the TV so I can get my dose of aviation after a hard day at work. Laugh out lad. Enjoy Vincent. Pleasure to have you here, mate. <laughs> and lots and lots of birds currently overflying the, uh, the airport at the second. Can we very close? And that is the Luxair Dash 8 as well. It sounds like he's getting his clearance. Steve Creed, afternoon to you. Alan Biles, afternoon all late on the parade today. Don't worry. Ken Watt, thank you so much for the update on the, uh, the Meta. Seems like the wind has uh, calmed down just a little bit here. 
Uh, Barry Allen saying, what effects do the, uh, the birds have here? Uh, birds are a nuisance to an airport. Uh, luckily enough, obviously, the guys here uh, at London City are very, very quick to uh, sort of remove any of that potential threat, but uh, they are a major, a major pain to aircraft movements. Uh, they can cause all sorts of damage, whether it be from the fuselage, from the glass in the cockpit windows, the engines, uh, they can cause uh, quite a bit of problems, put it that way. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying, uh, awesome Chris again, truly fantastic stream sir, pleasure to be participant of this Supreme channel. Well thank you so much my friend, honestly I really really appreciate that. Absolutely brilliant, thanks so much for the uh, the lovely comments guys honestly it really makes my day and an absolute pleasure to do this you know how much i uh, how much passion i've got in this uh max as far as i'm aware no i believe this is uh they are pretty much non-existent here if you sort of see the operations they are up and down you probably see there the operations car they are literally up and down there keeping a complete eye on the whole overview of the airfield and they are very very quick to all of this uh, Dickie McVitie yes there we go uh, Apolisto saying hello hello to you how are you doing hope you're doing very very well welcome along to uh, an afternoon on a Friday at London City counting down the uh, the months until about March when we can be streaming until about eight or nine o'clock in the evening and getting the London City rush He said, well, we're going to be going till around, well, I said for five o'clock. I said that we'll be uh, trying to hang on till five o'clock. Obviously, it does get very, very dark here, and it's a very dark place, because obviously this whole water that we've got in the uh, in the dock here, it literally becomes a glare. So it's, uh, it's very, very dark, put it that way. And there's no backlighting from where I am as well. There's just sort of no lighting in between. Wow, look how quick that was up aircraft from the private terminal as well just starting this engines wow yeah camera's not gonna do that incredible incredible takeoffs Sounds like the police helicopter is once again uh, outbound over uh, over South London, guys. So I wonder if there'll be uh, anything interesting like uh, the police chase that we had last week. Anna Biles, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really appreciate that. I hope you're having a great, great Friday. These takeoffs here, are, they're, they're seconds, guys. In incredibly, incredibly fast. So you get a lovely shot as well of an aircraft uh, leaving the private terminal over there. You can probably hear the uh, the engine started now. If the uh, arrivals into Heathrow seem very quiet as well. There's hardly anything sort of going over the top of us at the second. Beautiful sounds. sure I heard. Ah yes, perfectly, just in time. Uh, Alan, thank you so much. Honestly guys, thank you so, so much. Ian Clarkson. Rachel London, for no real reason other than you are fab. Honestly, Rach, no, it's you lot that are fab. It's like, keep me going. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure. Edward James, how are you doing?
John Hayes has a short take off, 3300 feet a minute. Uh, Brick Queen saying 10 past 4 and it's still really light in Cardiff. There is hope. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, Lars Lynch saying, I'm not familiar with the area. What is the body of water in front of you? A river, a lake? Looks like a Turkish 330. Oh, hang on, he's already extended his gear. He's 22 miles out. Wow, 22 miles out, guys, and he's uh, all, he's already extended, so that must mean he's just a little bit too fast. He's just trying to get a bit of drag, my, uh, my guess would be. Just trying to sort of slow down just that bit. Incredible stuff, beautiful. Look at that. Very nice. Flugelshaw saying, great shot, Chris. That's beautiful. Do you know what? I've not seen that for a very, very long time when uh, an aircraft literally has its uh, its gear down 22 miles before uh, before touchdown. Janet saying, what a shot. Uh, Roger, not, uh, my guess, as I said, would be he's probably trying a bit of drag there. He needs to slow down just a bit. Paul Freeman says, showing off. <laughs> Dickie McVie, it could be that, or he could be just a little bit more uh, over speed. That was a beautiful shot, that was. Why can't all of the uh, aircraft head like that? Paul Freeman saying the free greens. Uh, Simon uh, Dickerson saying the P4787 Private uh, 78 heading to Heathrow is currently going to be with us in about five minutes. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on that. We've currently got. Now this is good. When we have aircraft coming from this side, guys, I can get some beautiful, beautiful shots of obviously the aircraft and their, uh, the way that they're sort of flying at some quite lower uh, levels and they look beautiful when it's like this. Incredible stuff. And the dash eight. Melina, uh, Melina uh, Boglion said, hi from Argentina. Uh, Argentina, how's it going? Thanks for this live. Uh, Melina, not a problem. Everything's going very, very well with myself and I hope it is uh, too in Argentina. Absolutely brilliant. I hope you're having a, uh, a fantastic Friday, whatever you're doing. I can definitely hear that police helicopter somewhere over the back, but I can't see it. Ian Clarkson, thank you. Right, so Wayne is saying currently that private 787 is tracking above us overhead. I've got to keep an eye out for that then. Let's have a look. Uh, Leader Richardson saying that plane was uh, Tashkent or from Tashkent. Michelle Johnson saying excellent clearing skies here or, cle or clearing skies now here in Essex. This is what I love. And when it's like this, People say, what's your favourite place to spot from? I always say London City. You get the best of everything. Uh, Apolisto saying, are you going to the RIAT this year? I would love to, my friend. If I can get the, uh, if I can get the time, yes. Andrew Short saying, loving the over, uh, head, overhead shots, Chris. Thank you so much, mate. I'm trying me, uh, trying me best. It looks like they're coming in from uh, different angles actually here today which is only a good thing for us Adam. 
Very nice. We've got the KLM inbound as well. Right, so all eyes now for this uh, 7 8. We've got a KLM Embraer. Uh, Randy saying. Uh, Uh, Rani, no. Listen, it's uh, you are illegal to rebroadcast on the sh uh, on the same channel. If you have a look in the description, um, if you literally just have a look in our description that we've got there, my friend, it should uh, it should answer all of your questions there. But uh, I have an airband radio or receiver. Literally, my receiver uh, does everything that I I need it to do, shall we say? And uh, that's how you can get that uh, the sounds in the background. Uh, Simon Dickerson saying we've got a Korean, then the private 78. Rani, I hope that uh, hope that helps. Keep my eyes on the uh, the KLM just for the second because I still can't see anything inbound. I've got my eyes looking everywhere. Yeah, he's lit. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Template 16 afternoon. All have I missed much? It's been quite a good, uh, quite a good one actually today yeah CBL the amount of times uh, we anyone that heard the conversation that we sort of had last week with uh, with the lovely guys at the Met Police uh, they're, they're really good people are sort of really good I think it's just the sort of day and age that it is now you know and 1100 likes guys wow incredible massive shouts for London City Airport so let's keep our eyes on the uh, uh, Polo Isto, hopefully. Rainy, not a problem. And thank you so much for that uh, donation in there. Really, really appreciate that. so nice to finally uh, be able to see the KLM as well uh, in the, the sort of afternoons. You know, the lovely sounds of the Embraer's now starting up in the, uh, in the background. Right, so. Let's pull that back and see if I can get the, the Korean. Ah, oh, no, it's... Uh, Nah. Oh, will we? I don't know. We might do. Nah, it's cloud surfing, guys. So, uh, unfortunately, we won't get a good look on that. And then we believe we got the 7 8 just after that tracking. Uh, Melena saying hello, everyone. Nice hello, to meet you guys. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Absolute pleasure to meet uh, everyone that's new in the chat, guys. It's uh, it's fantastic having you all here. It's uh, so nice to see you uh, existing, plus uh, new faces turning up. Just uh, all loving our aviation message, and that truly is uh, truly is humbling. Uh, Frank McDermott said, "Fab stream. I remember the days of coming in on a BAE 146." The UK very nose down, no reverse for us, only air brakes only. I am going to post up a video. I've managed to, remember when I said to you guys that I lost some of my hard drive? I managed to recover little bits of it. And what I found, I didn't even see. Uh, there was no chance I was going to get that private. Whoa. Where did that thing come from? I have an hour and a half stream, or an old stream from down in what used to be my old spot here from 2018 that I found with BAE 146s, Flyby Dash 8s, Saab aircraft. I'm going to be posting that up over the weekend as just like a premiere and I'm going to re-upload it to YouTube because it's not been put on YouTube and it'll give you an idea into just sort of how variable London City was. 
Typical. <laughs> oh, are we going to get some good views of it? No, nah, it's just too much cloud cover there, isn't there? Ah, oh, that's a shame. That is a real shame. Uh, Paul Freeman just got it. Unfortunately, uh, the clouds wasn't the best. Uh, Edward James saying, uh, looking forward to it. We got it, guys. Well, some of it. Pete Jacobs saying, Chris, got to shoot off now. Catch you all next week. Not a problem, Pete. Enjoy. Andy Baker saying, uh, better weather than Gatwick. Flugel Shaft, I got it. Just about got it. So we're, uh, we're all right. So the KLM just turned up. Uh, Malina saying, thank you for the warm welcome. Not a problem. Pleasure's all ours. And a while saying, I used to fly the... Uh, into London City from Frankfurt in a 146. Always very steep approach compared to the usual uh, three degrees. It's about five and a half degrees, isn't it, here at uh, LLCY? Molly's in the cab yard. Barry Allen saying, uh, When you're going to put. It will be uploaded over the weekend. It runs for about an hour and a half. So uh, I will put it up and I'll just do it as a premiere. Obviously, it will be uh, a stream that we've done from. Uh, this is. I think this is either the back end of 20, either summer 2017 or summer 2018. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to post it up. So there will be commentary like there is like there is on here. But it will give you something uh, something nice. Linda Richardson. It's really changed now. It's a bit of both. It, it is actually a bit of both. It is business and it's pleasure. This airport is proving a lot more. How do I put it? A lot more lucrative to all markets. Steve Roffel saying uh, 1100 lights, can we get 1200? We're getting close. Template 16, notice how it's uh, light later these days. I am, and I'm enjoying every minute of that. Uh, Nathaniel uh, Yarnold saying, awesome show. Thank you so much, Nathaniel. Pre appreciate that. I got cookies saying there is a helicopter on flight radar 24 company uh, squawking means it's lost contact with ATC okie dokie we'll keep a look on that uh, butter landings how are you doing good evening Chris and cable saying loving the slightly uh, lighter evenings on the way to the long light evenings can't wait to get back to our summer shows here in the evening that's when the real rush kicks off Edward James, fantastic. Ian Black was saying, uh, have a good evening day, everybody. Hopefully joining tomorrow on the uh, LHR stream. This LCY stream is really interesting. Fab, uh, thanks, fab shot of the KLM. Not a problem. You can probably just uh, about see just how busy uh, the terminal is as well there. John Driscoll saying, uh, spring is right round the corner. Looking forward to it, John. Really looking forward to it. Current time check here, 16.25 in the East End of London. Company live for uh, just around three hours mark now. Charlie Stevenson saying, uh, like comparing the different windlets on the plane. Some look uh, more elegant than others. Yes, they do. I agree with you on that. The German Airways colour is quite nice. Susie Q saying wants the, uh, yeah, I agree with you on that. Wow. <laughs> no hope. And it looks like there's a, I think there's a 747 over there as well. I can see the uh, the vapor trails. Now, guys, I'm going to ask: Has anyone got an update? I believe that there is a Swiss A220 that's turning up here uh, around the quarter to five or, or 1645, 1700 mark. Can anyone give me an update onto where that aircraft actually is? Because that's going to be the uh, obviously the last one from us. 
because it starts getting really, really dark. We also got a couple of people asked us where, uh, how close we are from the, uh, from some of the city. If you have a look around there, there is uh, Canary Wharf, basically uh, part of the financial sort of district bits. There, it's starting to get really, uh, really dark now. Uh, Shell Pop is saying uh, enjoy. Susie Q agreed. Uh, Annabelle saying right, okay, that 7:47 was out of uh, Louisville for Cologne. Max Harris, how are you doing? Uh, Paul, is that when it is? 1840. We might not be lucky because they are normally sending one here at uh, 1700 or just before. <coughs> Paul Hilbert saying, hope everyone's well. I am very well. John Lehman, bye. I'll need uh, to go out for some uh, fish and chips. Another great stream, Chris, uh, from Orlando, Florida, MCO. Very nice. Go and enjoy that. Uh, in Montlevan. Uh, I've lost, as I said, with the hard drive that I had, I lost all of my A318. For, I lost a lot of, uh, I lost years of footage uh, from here. Look, years of, uh, years of aviation stuff. I've managed to get some little bits back, but it's like about seven or eight percent of, uh, of what I had. And the view that I give, or the view that you're going to see when I upload the video, is from me standing down and I'm literally looking straight down runway 27 and you get as the evening sort of gets darker you get the beautiful shot of all of Canary Wharf and the Barclays building the city group you get all of that uh, lit up or it starts to sort of light up and it's uh, it's stunning Simon Kirby saying it's still uh, fairly light at 425 Ah, uh, it's a shame. I really was hoping that the, uh, looks like they've changed around one of the uh, the Swisses then, guys, because it used to be around five o'clock, if you remember rightly. Oh, that is a shame. That really is. Ah, uh, it's a shame, Si. Uh, Paul, unfortunately, no, it looks like it's been pushed back to 1840, which is uh, oh, a shame. It's so cute saying it's gone bitterly cold out. It has. So we'll roll through. I did say that we'll be here till five o'clock, so we'll roll on until uh, we'll roll on until five or until it gets completely and utterly dark that we can't uh, sort of see anything. And I think that's another good show, guys. Uh, Andrew Albert saying that lovely blue uh, winter light and great stream, Chris. Thank you very much, Andrew. Glad you've all enjoyed, guys. Can't wait, as I said, to get back to our regular evening shows when we're rolling on through until about nine o'clock in the evening and we get that immense London City Airport rush and they will be on 09 operations as well this end so you can only imagine the sounds anyone that is uh, new to us uh, Big G saying it's all uh, in Brad 190 is through until uh, to 1800 now not a problem well I'll tell you what we'll make the uh, it's a shame about the Swiss that's a real real shame because it's been on the same thing Ian Clarkson honestly the um, can't do it without the mods uh, they they deserve the round of applause more than me they keep you lovely lot safe <sighs> ah, just literally it was another KLM over there just behind the uh, behind the clouds Smiley Dolphin, Diane Emsley saying that dust light is the very best for watching London City. It is, I agree. Ian Clark's the same, Chris, awesome again, sir. We'll see you tomorrow, mate. Not a problem at all. Yeah, I'll make the uh, I'll make the decision in a second, guys. 
because that's that was what we was waiting for we was waiting for the swiss and unfortunately she's uh she's not here until 20 to 7. oh paul i didn't know that then right so the swiss it, the arrival uh is five past five on a monday and sunday only uh, only the rest of the week is 1840. right well there you go so that's changed alan Orcon saying oh, what a fab stream uh, this is keep it up i'm here for good thank you alan absolute pleasure to have you uh involved and on board looks like there is another aircraft company on its uh i can see some landing lights over there goosey how are you doing uh goosey we actually had a swiss that was here at two o'clock there was so there wasn't uh the helvetic wasn't here but the swiss a220 was here earlier so unless they just changed it around for uh for the current period Susan Rawlinson said, ah, it's the Lufty on approach. So that is the landing lights that I've seen. And we haven't had the Logan Air either. So I wonder where the Logan Air is. Yeah, this is nothing guys compared to, if people think this is busy. The evenings here are just incredible. The same as the mornings. The mornings are brilliant. Jamie Campbell, it's good to see uh, Lufthansa as well. Uh, I got cookies. Uh, probably the next sort of, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, I think. And while we've got no uh, no Swiss turning up, I think we'll do the, uh, the Lufty, which is probably about six minutes, something like that out. I think we'll do that. And then we'll uh, we'll head up. I uh, see Paul. Even that. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Uh, Alan, not a problem. Looking forward to Heathrow tomorrow. Absolute pleasure, my friend. Yeah, Wayne. And there's a Swiss A220 over the top of us, which I still can't see. Ah, oh, it's a shame. So things have changed within the space of uh, a week. So we'll keep our eyes on the ground movements. Link cable, not a problem at all. Yeah, Michelle, that's the one that's going into Heathrow, which is a shame. You were at 001 saying how was Tenerife? It was brilliant. It was uh, an absolute pleasure to uh, to be over there streaming. Really looking forward to going back again. Richard Ellis saying, no, thanks, good to see you tomorrow. Not a problem. Skipper saying, uh, good to see you back, mate. Glad you enjoyed your little trip down to Tenerife. It was great. And uh, as I said, can't wait to go back there. That was some very, very close up uh, stuff. That was almost like being airside. It's so nice finding these other, uh, finding these other airports that are, that are busy. So we've currently got two on approach. If it ever wants to uh, focus. Right, so what we do then guys, we'll do these current two aircraft that are on approach here. And then we call it down for the, uh, for the evening. Lead B. All right, so there was QR1 that was just. landing lights Alan saying now uh, I'm watching from the train in the nice and warm <laughs> then Keeble not a problem see you all tomorrow what a great week this has been absolutely incredible uh, Susan saying the second plane BA from Florence uh, he's the take care What's that KJ saying thanks for another super stream not a problem at all glad you've enjoyed it uh, Paul saying I'm in need of 747s so am I I think Frankfurt would be a, a brilliant trip Susie Q saying it's been a fab week and it's still not over yet the 
Michelle saying uh, the Frankfurt coming in from London City now. Brilliant. And Arnold saying, uh, hey Chris, when are, we, uh, when are we starting tomorrow? We'll be there, as I say, between sort of seven and eight. Uh, all depends what time I can sort of get up there on the roof. Uh, but if uh, we do start earlier, I will start earlier. Uh, Greg, correct. KJ, you are correct. Heathrow tomorrow. So we've currently got two aircraft now inbound. <laughs> KJ. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, Neil Warner saying thanks for all the different shows this week. Not a problem, Neil. I try my best, guys. You know me, I don't stick round uh, to just one airport. I like seeing the operations of all different stuff. And uh, I think that's what makes this, uh, this channel just that bit different. Catalan saying great stream. Fantastic. <laughs> Arnold, yep, yeah, I know. Rachel London, that's an awesome stream as always, Chris. Not a problem, Rachel. Thanks for tuning in. Arriving in one minute. Yeah, can't wait for the, uh, the later lights. Very bright uh, LED landing lights on the uh, on the lifty. A little bit of a uh, little bit of a struggle. Ooh. Wrestling it a little bit. Beautiful lights at dusk. Something so uh, so peaceful about airports at night. Andrew Flyer, thank you so so much for that, Andrew. I hope you're doing very well, my friend. Thank you. Honestly, I really appreciate that. Lifty looking very clean. <coughs> so taxi into stand seven. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for everyone that's that's tuned in today. Our new subscribers, uh, everyone that's hit the like button. You know, absolutely fantastic. I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you for everyone that's donated as well, guys. It, it makes such the difference to the channel because it means that we can sort of do these things. You know, I, I never go out and ask you for anything, but it's a pleasure being able to do this. It really, really is. Massive shout to the mods as well. They deserve the biggest round of applause and the biggest pat on the back and the biggest thanks because they're, they're there keeping you lot safe. Carolyn, how are you doing? <laughs> Did someone order a pre? I did see that. <laughs> Jeanette saying, well done, Chris Mods. Another fab stream, you smashed it again. Glad you've enjoyed, Jeanette. I'm glad that you've all enjoyed, guys. We've seen so many different airports, so many different operations this week already. So many different uh, types of weather as well. <laughs> The beautiful Lufty just being marshalled onto stand over there, so stand seven. Uh, Tim Robinson, that's superb. Stream as always, Chris. Always love the Friday afternoon at London City. Do you know what? Can't wait for the Friday evenings again. Beautiful. Uh, Henry Sand, have a nice day, Chris. You too as well, my friend. CBL, evening, mate. Tony Rivers, much respect, my friend. Massive respect to you all, guys. All right, so there is the lifty and the final one from us will be the uh, the BA inbound from Florence which is this aircraft here you can just see uh, it's quite nice still got a little bit of daylight left only a little at 16:41 uh, in the evening 
It's a pleasure to see. A tiny bit of uh, a wobble still on the uh, the BA in from Florence. And the geese are having a field day right behind me. Still a bit of a wobble, so they're still uh, dealing with a bit of wind. Well, there you go, guys. Can't be more beautiful than that, can it? Absolutely brilliant. Much love to you, Jeanette. Much love to you all, guys. Right, so that's the last one from us from the evening, guys. Let's sort of bring it back around and we'll leave it on the... Uh, the higher the way we always do over there with the uh, the beautiful backdrop of obviously uh, London town over there or at least sort of Canary Wharf uh, once again guys thank you so so much for the support it's been a pleasure uh, mods smashed it as usual you all have been brilliant thank you to you lovely lot on Facebook as well honestly guys I am so so humbled and privileged to be able to do this uh, for you all it's uh, not a day goes by that I don't count uh, my blessings. I'm not a religious man, but I am uh, very lucky and I thank you all. I will see you all again tomorrow morning at London Heathrow for uh, the last stream of the week. But uh, until that, guys, 1.2k light. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Thank you to the amazing people as well over there at London City Airport. Incredible, guys. I will say uh, see you later. And obviously take care guys so whatever you're doing on this friday have a fantastic one enjoy be safe and i'll see you all later take care guys see you later